And we are back. Couch Company Podcast. I'm John. With me as always, Tyler. Hello. And we got a lot of things to get through today. Yeah. Starting with Jason. <laughs> oh, you just you had Dude, to. I was like, I, Tyler sent me a list of what we're going to talk about today. Jason Momo, he sneaked it in at the end. I have to know what it's about. Yeah. I don't understand. Is it the Fast and Furious movie? First off. All right. Preface. I commend you on saying sneaked. Yeah. And not snuck. That's not a word. I know. I say it all the time, but congratulations on that. Anyway, uh, so okay. Chelsea and I, I know that went through... a debate? It's not a debate, but people say it all the time and it's just like mm. people it sneaked still sounds weird to me is that a shot at your wife no not at all oh. uh, well she might say it but oh. i, thought I, I say snuck all the time but oh, sneak still sounds weird to me but i know it's right so i always do this double take of anyway gotta be really conscious about it jason momoa yeah he's an actor he's an actor uh probably best known for aquaman probably what was he in before that i don't even know uh he was in game of thrones Right? Never heard was of he it. in Game of Thrones? Yeah. He was in Game of Probably best known for Game of Thrones. Probably best known for Game of Thrones. I don't know. Yeah, I'm a, that's, that's a good question. I would say uh, if I had to put money on it, Aquaman. I think yeah. it's a bigger audience yeah. than Game of Thrones. But Probably. Uh, Worst movie, though. E- Ooh. Of DC? No, it's worse than Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. worse than Game yes. of Thrones. Yeah. Is it the worst DC movie? Probably not. No. Uh-uh. What's, I don't know what that would be. That would Blue be Beetle? Suicide Squad is up there. One? Yeah. Okay, so this is actually wow. uh, the other thing what? I wanted to put on the list. Because Suicide Squad 1 was like okay for a little bit, and then it kind of it, fell off a cliff. So I don't know if you're getting this in your algorithm now, and I have this. like You know how they did the Snyder Cut, right? And it was like a whole thing yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, and I promise we'll get back to Jason. Uh, but you had the, the Snyder Cut. It was like this whole thing, like release the Snyder Cut and whatever. So David Ayer... Ayer? Ayer. Ayer. Ayer did um, Suicide Squad, but he has his cut. Wait. I'm talking the OG. Okay. I'm not talking about the new one that um, uh, James Gunn did. Will Smith was in it. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm with you. Yeah. So oh, here's a cut. There's okay. a dark, gritty cut. So I don't know if you remember the original... Suicide Squad trailer. Yeah. Very different than what we got is the movie. The movie was a comedy, but the comedy wasn't funny. Funny because it wasn't supposed to be. It was just cut that way and just isn't great. Yeah. So anyway, my algorithm is force feeding me the air cut. And it's like, I'm expecting that to like show up soon. Oh. So like John, uh, who's, who's the guy that was in... Walking Dead and played Punisher, John Bar- Barth- Barthol or whatever. Yep. Yep. Um, he has a podcast and he he just interviewed David Iyer and, and they were talking about it and like how he's like that that movie like broke him and he had to like go away and kind of like Yikes. reset and stuff Jeez. just because they like de- apparently uh, Deadpool came out to critical success because yeah. it was funny as heck and, right. and really good. Yeah, um, Batman v Superman failed. Yep, because plenty of reasons. That might be the worst. So then movie. the studio comes in and says, "All right, we're recutting this to be closer on the Deadpool scale." So between oh, Batman v Superman God. versus Deadpool, Suicide Squad went more Deadpool versus more of a serious, gritty, whatever. So anyway, I don't know what I was talking about, but that, like now that I said that and your phone picked it up, I'm sure you'll start That's, seeing these thanks, these man. things. Yeah, you're appreciate welcome. that. So anyway, Chelsea and I were watching Fast and Furious. She. Uh, Started watching, I think, one and two. The best ones. Without me. Yeah. Best ones. So I missed out on the best ones. Yep. Um, Skip Tokyo Drift, I think. And then went through. Uh, good. I think I came in maybe halfway through like four or something like that. And I don't I keep looking over at her and she's not paying attention. So it's fine. That's where I fell off. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, five good. is good. Five is when the, the Rock came in. And, and I, don't, I was out. I don't <laughs> typically like The Rock. And I know that's not like a popular opinion. Or it might be nowadays. I don't know. He plays the same character in every movie. He does, but it fits this universe. Like, it's yeah. fine. But in it's ridiculous. Five, he's the bad guy. Yeah. Right? Right. In, like, every movie, it's the bad guy. I thought he was a cop guy. or something, though. He is. Oh, okay. But he's, like, the cop that gets results. So if he has to... But he doesn't have a mustache. That's true. Yeah, he doesn't. 
Yeah. You cannot be a cop that gets results without a mustache. Well, he That's didn't. Like he didn't role. get the results because there, he, he okay, didn't that makes win sense. at the end. You that know? makes sense. Okay. Um, Continue. But he goes through and does all this stuff, and then like you have five, which I thought was pretty good. Six, I thought was really good. <clears throat> eh, really pretty good. Yeah. Seven started getting like uh, what, and eight is worse, and nine is worse, and ten is bad, oh. with the exception. And here it comes of Jason Momoa. Who I think might got be that. might be one of my favorite villains I've seen in a movie ever. In, in, no, 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 ever. No, no, no. Just say it. In recent memory, yeah. I think Jason Momoa would be a a good Joker. Bond villain? No, he's no? too he's too wacky for a Bond villain. And I know, I know there's Bond. some, there's but, been some... But, but Bond takes everything really seriously. Which Bond? I mean, all like I, I'm. Yeah, I guess Daniel Craig. Like if they, if they redo it, yeah, and it's like Idris Elba versus Austin Jason Powers Mello or something. He could be not an wacky Austin, enough. Yes, not wacky enough. Not he's wacky too. Enough. He's too good of he's an right actor. In the middle. I think so. Joker is in the middle of a Bond villain. Yeah, and an Austin Powers. Villain. You know what? That's a great paper. We could probably write that. Yeah, I would. I'm curious on Chat GPT's take <laughs> on. <laughs> Where Joker uh, falls on the scale he, of seriousness. Jason Momoa keeps going between these these things of like he's like in a suit, really angry, gruff, like Aquaman, stone face, whatever, right? Yeah. And that's like shots of him. And okay. that's how you see him in the trailer and stuff. But then he's like dressing up in pigtails and just murdering people and then having a tea party with them and laughing maniacally and making jokes and doing just just wild things with like he's like here's a rocket launcher and just blows things up and he's like he has guys around him he's like all right and he's he's like it's dumb but he's like remote controlling this massive bomb rolling through italy or whatever it is right i think it was italy yeah and he he was talking to like his like quote-unquote henchmen around him and stuff and he's like all right what are we gonna what are we gonna blow up and and um one of it, what was he? It was like the, the where the Pope, Pope, uh, Pope Leo. Vatican, Vatican. Thank you, man. I'm that's, my brand. That's he's bad. like, all right, where are we gonna, where are we gonna blow up? And he's like, the Vatican. Oh, you're going to hell. And then like, just yeah. I'm doing it. I'm not doing it justice. No, it's but good. He was very you keep going. He was very good. Okay. It was funny. It was it was really well done. Um, I think eleven because he the, the problem with ten is spoilers. Actually, I probably shouldn't. I well. Spoilers, because it's a fairly new movie. But 10 and 11 are coming out. They did the classic, it's the last ride, let's split the, the two movies, or whatever. <clears throat> yeah. Um, he's, he gets away at the end, right? Like, you gotta, he's built, he's, he's, I guess what I'm saying is he's a better villain than, like, all the other villains in, of those movies. Yeah. It's, so I could see them, like, hanging their hat on, like, okay, this is the final showdown. And you would think that introducing, like, the biggest of the bad. Yeah. At the last movie, with no build up, no nothing, I think they're. I think they'll get there wow. with how he portrayed it in this first movie, going into the second movie. Okay, so I don't know. So Jason Momoa carrying the Fast and Furious yeah, franchise. <laughs> Do they race it's anymore? Not, Is there any racing that's, at all? That's the biggest problem. There was more of it in this one, really? but not. Jesus, it's, I th- I want to say nine was. Seven or nine was like the biggest. You realize that where it was like it was straight up like a Jason Bourne movie without the cars. You realize that Fast and Furious is Dragon Ball Z. It's the same thing. Yeah, a hundred percent. So Dragon Ball Z, okay. Dragon Ball used to be about martial arts. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, and about finding the Dragon <laughs> Balls, and they grant yeah. us a wish. Yeah. Cut to 2020. Where we're fighting gods. Yeah. Universes are blowing up. Dragon Balls really don't matter. Well, there's the super Dragon Balls now. Of course Which there are. grants you a super wish. What's, it, what's the difference between a su- I probably shouldn't ask this. What's the difference between a super wish and a wish? Because you can raise people from the Shenron dead. Shenron is pretty inhibited by what he can do. You can raise people from the dead once, I think. I'm very hazy on the rules here. So super but wish. It can only like, be hey, probably from that universe. There are twelve universes. I'm out. There used to be sixteen. Four of them got destroyed <laughs> because the god of everything's like a child and he gets bored. Wow. Yeah. 
Okay. So this child god put together this universal tournament of all the universes. Mm-hmm. And it was this uh, <laughs> it was this battle royale. And they had two minutes to beat the shit out of each other. And the last person standing like was the only universe that survives. Wow. It was crazy. <laughs> it was actually really good arc. It was I mean, fucking wild. It sounds crazy. Like, yeah. But then how do you go from there? I don't know, but they are like it's they're it's still, still going. going yeah. I look, I don't yeah. know. I thought we were done after he turned Super Saiyan three and a pink blob was destroying the, the fate of the world. Like I thought we were done after that, but yeah. we're not. Not even close. You know who wrote Fast and Furious? <clears throat> who? David Iyer. Really? Yeah. Dude, Fast and Furious is is I I'm I was out on it. Like it's just so crazy. Here's a question for you though. How yeah. fast could John Wick end a Fast and Furious movie? How fast till the plot's just resolved? Because he just destroys everyone. Oh, I mean... Or you think he'd have trouble? He, uh, I, he could solo it, right? I'm not a big John Wick believer. I love the movies. Wow. I love Keanu Reeves. Yeah. But like... He should have been dead like fifty times over. Yeah, that's you know what I'm saying. Though. So it's like, like yeah, yeah. how do you stop him? How do you stop him? You put him against Jason Bourne. Jason Bourne takes him out from you guys a mile not, away. You guys were not saying that to me when we were watching them. I was telling you that Kyle. No, was, was saying no, that 100%. you guys were shitting on me for that. Oh, nope. no, what? No, yes, who were? You guys were telling me how terrible Jason Bourne was. I was like, guys. This guy will never see him coming. You're yes, trolling no, me I'm right not. now. No, I'm not. You're trolling You me. and Kyle were ganging up on me 100%. Absolutely yes, not. Yes, you were. Oh, my goodness. Ask Kyle. I Ask must, Kyle. I'm a th- you're acting like I'm not a th- thousand going to... Pr- I'm calling him the moment we stop. Done. Done. Like, there's no way I was getting bullied by I you I was both. a Jason Bourne apologist. I, you were trolling. I was absolutely not trolling. It I love like trolling. Jason Bourne movies. I love my Jason whole, Bourne movies. My whole premise... Because we were going to do the whole, like... Top hitman, like top five hitmen or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Jason Bourne. Do they both lose the Agent 47? Is that yeah, just, 100%. That really yeah, like Jason, yeah, Agent 47 just crushes both of them because you never see them. Like, that's the whole point. But my whole yeah. my whole yeah. point was. You don't see Bourne like, coming, though, a lot of the time. You don't. And that's why he good. would wreck. Yeah. Uh, uh, but if they got into a fight, it's over. Yes. Although Bourne can hold his own. Uh, yeah. But. John Wick's pretty good. John Wick, look, I love John Wick. I think those movies are better than the Bourne movies, probably. It's it, it's like a 50-50, because I think the first... I will say the Bourne movies get better as they go on, minus like the newest one that came out, which I don't even pretend yeah. like was Like real the thing. story gets more interesting. Like, yeah, the third one's my favorite, actually. Uh, Ultimatum. Ultimatum. Yeah. yeah. I actually think it goes 3-2-1. I would go three one two, but sure, I could I could flippy. Flip, yeah, flip maybe I would do that too. But yeah. it's, but it, what I'm saying is, John Wick actually gets worse as it progresses. Like the first is yeah. easily the best. Yeah, two was good. Three was good ish. I liked a lot of four three, was but yeah, yeah. It's like all right, maybe it's time to give it up. <laughs> they're, it was, they're still doing wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. They're doing a spinoff. Yeah, I saw the trailer yeah. for uh, the uh, hotel. I just don't care. Yeah, it was like, you know, like part of it is like, okay, it's cool that like you're establishing mm-hmm. like a kind of universe, but it's not that cool. Yeah. yeah. It's like, it's like a throwaway thing. Like, it's like, oh, cool. Oh, it has its history and stuff. You don't it's not have, like, I don't want to show on it. You don't, yeah, you don't have enough. I'd rather have a good Lord of the Rings show. That's what I'd rather Ugh, have. Yeah. Like, what a fucking waste. I'll tell you what, speaking of two, two quick show call, call outs. One, yep. uh, Wheel of Time. Yep. Pretty interesting. Did you ever you even read the books? No, I was hoping that I I watch season one of Wheel of Time, which it should be the first book ish. Yeah, and that would be enough for me to get into. Well, you're a big book guy, huge book guy. I am. And yeah. speaking of Kyle, he loves those books. Yep. Those are his favorite, I think. Right? Yeah. Wow. I mean, he named his dogs after. Yeah. After them, yeah. Jesse and Clytus. Yep. Yeah. yeah, nailed it. No, Perrin and Lan. The problem is Perrin seems kind of like a not a good person right now. So that's a, it's mm. an odd choice. I'll be interested to see his arc. It's an arc. Yeah. It's a big one. Yeah. The second show, Ahsoka is actually pretty good. 
Yeah, I saw people freaking out about it. I'm I'm out on Star Wars. I'm just out. Yeah. I mean, here's here's the thing. All right, and research. Uh, I was gonna say research company, research department. Research has, company has a very did a very well written mansplain me the mansplain. the episode. Jesus no, I'm just Christ. I'm just kidding. No, uh, he did a very good job. Kind of like, hey, look at all these artful choices done in the show. Some of which I absolutely missed, and it was like, oh, that's that's really cool. Yeah. Um, and I've seen like the the thread of like flashbacks from like the Clone Wars and different things. Now, like I don't want to spoil it, but it's like there's he, a lot he's a of fan of that. He loves yeah Clone Wars, and as you should. Like, it's like th- yeah, there is. It's very very Star Wars. Oh now, yeah, yeah. On the on the flip side, we have friends that uh, adamantly say that. Jedi are the worst part of Star Wars and like that whole thing. It's more interesting not to have that. And in, in which case, I can also kind of agree with Nate, uh, Kevin. Actually, oh, Kevin. yeah. Oh, okay. Was, so like big, big lover of Rogue One. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That, that kind of thing. Which is good right. movie. Andor, awesome. Like makes yep. a very good point. And they've done Jedi pretty poorly as of late. Yeah. I think Ahsoka does a pretty good job. You have your lightsabers and, and different things, but it's beyond that. Like you're seeing other characters and, and whatnot. And it's essentially, hey, you liked Rebels, right? What if we made that live action? But it's a continuation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, you must like you must because you really liked. Rebels. I do. I did finish Rebels. Yeah. Um. And and I thought that was really cool. And while I think they probably should just make more Rebels. Yeah. Um. This it's interesting. <laughs> So episode five was the big one. I think one, two, one through four drag a, like dragged a little bit. And I actually even said as much like every shot is so artfully done and well framed and looks really good. But the problem is like I don't need to see a pensive, thoughtful stare from every actor. So it's like you have Ahsoka saying something uh, to someone off camera and then just like five seconds to ten seconds of zooming in on her face as she like stares off into the distance right it's just every character does that and then five was interesting because it did all the flashback stuff way better cgi stuff going on um so like the de-aging stuff and different like it's like well done uh way better than like obi-wan even yeah so good on that but then episode six my boy Thrawn shows up. Uh oh! So you get the final, the like the first, yeah, the first live action version. Uh, Lars Mikkelsen plays him. So who, who voices the guy in who Rebels? Voices Thrawn in Rebels. Yeah. Um, How do you do? I think he did well, with the caveat. Yeah. Maybe doesn't have the body of a like super fit military chiss like don't get me wrong delivered his lines really good i think the makeup looks pretty convincing like his eyes are okay um but like his outfit seemed baggy it's seen and like as he's walking down like they did like this big like shot of like this star destroyer coming in and like like going down and like you know all these stormtroopers are there and that could get into the lore of all that stuff but like you see him walking down this aisle of stormtroopers not and maybe this is just me and my little quirks but like I always see how straight somebody can walk. <laughs> so, That's psychotic. It's dumb, I yeah. know. But if you look at it, it, he's starting to like, he like weaves a little bit and his, not, his clothes are a little bit yeah. baggy-ish, which I think are trying, like they are, they made them, it seemed like they made them larger to be, to look like they were form-fitting-ish. But again, he's not, like he's an older dude, like he has like an older dude body. Yeah. And I'm not, body, like I don't want to shame him at all, but it's like all these books, it's all like, Thrawn is like just peak he's like just perfect like he is training perfection cut like brilliant like whatever yeah and this guy was like a dude right he just he it was like almost like cosplaying him yeah um I could see where like <clears throat> not walking in a straight line baggy like it's like a general it seems like his character is very much like he has every little detail put exactly. together right? exactly like he walks perfectly straight he yep. like one guy's out of line in that line Yes. And he stops, and he'll That's turn exactly around. And you know it. what I'm saying? Yep. And shoot him or something. I don't and know. all the <laughs> troopers and everything was was perfect. Yeah. And and you could probably write it off like, hey, he's been marooned on this planet for. Yeah, but that would be that's what makes him even cooler. Where it's I like know. he keeps it. Yeah. yeah. Right? So you yeah. can't stop this guy. Yeah. Yeah. He's and then the you, and then you have uh, like a couple like 
whatever you want to call them, fallen Jedi, gray Jedi. Now imagine Sith, they made whatever, fucking that are in there. Seven eight nine about that, you know. Yeah, hundred percent. Like, you, can you imagine that? It's here's, like it's all there for you. Here's what's gonna happen. And so Dave Filoni's the guy doing all this, right? And he's like the. If you're gonna trust somebody, it's him, right? To do Star I Wars, trust right? him with my life. Yeah. Well. No, I don't. But sure. What's gonna happen is they'll eventually get ballsy, and they're like, "Hey, we need to we need to make some money." Yeah. They'll do the movies. Yeah. Like three new movies, right? Yep. I, I will be interested to see if if he would even accept it, and if they would ask him to do that. It's or not. doomed. It's doomed. It's doomed. What can they do? Give him a bigger budget. Like I can only imagine. Like th- this, the shots in this show are awesome looking. Like they have really, really good set pieces. So for for me to see what he could do with like an actual full blown like Disney Star Wars budget, yeah, that's exciting to no, me. No, I mean it'd be sick, but like. Just like, dude, you, how do you follow the, that shit? It's so bad. Oh, you you essentially just ignore it. That's I don't know if he would, but it just you takes just me out of it. it. It's just like, I don't know. I just I'm lost. I'm doomed. I'm well, a doomed I mean, they're fan. they're essentially ignoring it now. I know, but it's, it's like it's how do you ignore it? They don't even ignore the, the prequels. Yeah, they definitely don't. They ignore. definitely they're, they're, don't ignore them. Embracing the prequels, yeah. hardcore. Because yeah. the prequels are not that bad. Some might say the best. That's ridiculous, but <laughs> they're not that bad. And we saw that on display with the fucking sequels. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I just, I just can't. I just can't do it. I can't do Star Wars. I can't do Marvel. I'm just like so dead inside when it comes to that yeah. shit. Like I don't care at all. I and nothing I can say will like loop you in no right like it's like i totally understand that and the more that comes out with it the harder it will be to get me back in because now i'm just further and further and further behind yeah it's like yep. crazy they're just piling all this shit on and i think calvin was talking about this where it's like they i think they realize that and they're just trying to go off of the audience they have you know mm-hmm. they're just yeah. milking that yeah they're not trying to bring new people in you know that's not the focus i guess it, yeah i just i think that if you go off the audience like it's like there's all the the lore that has already been right so it's one of those things like if done correctly you can get new people in by being like oh this is a new weird thing that's really cool and then they go backwards and start looking at all of the other you know movies and tv shows and the legends books and all of that stuff and i just think it's it's worth giving him the reins and, and trying it out. Like, what's the worst that could happen? You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. You can't ruin it any worse than it's ruined. Right. So. It's ruined. 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 Yeah, I don't, know. I don't I, know. I'm enjoying it. I think that That's good. It, it dragged in the beginning, and now I'm actually, like, I'm very much looking forward to Tuesday's episode just to see where, where they're going with it. Because they're already, like, seven in. Like, they, yeah. there's not what that are they many doing, episodes. like, ten? I assume. Ten, I, I eight, honestly don't know. Yeah. Eight or ten seems pretty standard these days. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm glad you're liking it. Like, look, I support anyone who gets I just enjoyment. Like Thrawn, man. That's it. Thrawn's That's, cool. Yeah. yeah. Dude, the... Oh, man. I just don't understand. Like, you have all these amazing books. Like, the adaptation... I mean, it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's the script is fucking there. Yeah. You just need, like, a good director. Mm-hmm. Right? You need good cinematography. You need good actors. And I know it's easier said than done, but like one of the hardest parts of writing a movie is done for you. Like the idea is there. The beginning, yeah. middle, and end is written. It's good. <laughs> like <laughs> it's, provenly good. Right. Yeah. Like people like this. People yeah. like, yeah. So it's like, I don't know, man. I just I always go back to Lord of the Rings. Like that's how you do an adaptation. Yeah. But it's then, like there. but then look at Amazon's. It was not good. Yeah. God. Maybe it's because it's like, it was pretty. But it was not compelling. Maybe it's like you need it to be a movie. It can't be a TV show. You need the budget. But that's not really true because like Game of Thrones was awesome. Yeah, I was going to say, would they have $400 million or something? Like, no, they had the budget. Well, I don't know. Like, why was it so bad? Again, it's just like fucking you have the blueprint. Yeah, it's not compelling. It's just Uh, not interesting stuff. Like, it's I get what they're doing. But but it should be. The stakes are not there. The yeah. like the thing is with Game of Thrones, you don't know what's 
happening, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, the you intrigue. could obviously, depending on, like, if you read the books and all that, blah, 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 blah. But, like, the books weren't done. You could, like, so, like, there was that, like, office poll of who's going to die, right? Yeah. Like, who's going to yeah. make it or whatever. And the new one, even, and I guess it might be based off of a books there or something, but, like, I had no idea what was happening, and it was just, like, this is interesting. It's more compelling. It's literally less than half the budget of Lord of the Rings, and they just do way more with less. Than Lord of the Rings? <laughs> uh, the TV show or the movie? Yeah, no, the TV show. Because oh, yeah. the, the yeah. Game of Thrones and Lord of the Rings came out at the same time. And it got to the point where it was just like, we were watching Lord of the Rings just because it was like part of our like weekly schedule of yeah. programs to watch. Yeah. But like we didn't care. Well, it was like about the second age, right? It was yeah. uh, the Samarillion. I think it's yeah, what it's called. It's, it's like it yeah. is Tolkien's collection of... And it's a little different because it's not really a story mm -hmm. whereas like the hobbit and lord of the rings are a story or whatever right? yeah it's it, it it was more a collection of like notes and stuff it they they made it, it it was interesting where it was like you saw this big dude that gets like he's like a, this like wizard guy and you're just like who is he you know like is it gandalf is it because you just don't know yeah and uh they they kind of come full circle with him and uh, at the very end, spoilers, but in the very end of the season, this big event happens and this area that you saw throughout like basically just erupts. And then it's like the, the name of the area on the screen, how it like shows you locations, yeah. fades out and then Mordor fades in. Oh. Super cool. That's cool. And it was like, oh, that's really neat. Like. But I had to go a dozen <laughs> yeah, episodes yeah. to get to that yeah. one cool scene. Like yeah. it just it didn't pay off for me. But no, that was cool. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's just like, you think they could ever do a movie after the events of the books? Or is that just impossible? Why would you want to, man? I don't. It's a great like, I don't world. Know. It's a great world. Is it? Yes. I don't think. I, here's the thing with that. How is it not? No, it, it is. It's like one of the most no, no, sure, sure, sure. famous fantasy worlds it of all is. time. Who, but, okay, so you have Dave Filoni, who people trust to take the reins from Lucas, right? Because he loves the, the source material so much, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And is a proven good director and good right. ideas and everything. Right. Who would you do for I don't know. Lord of the Rings? Someone you know out like, there is a super fan. Like, would you trust Peter Jackson to come in and do that? Because if you recall, he did the three movies yeah. of that tiny little Hobbit book. Yep. Maybe not the best, like well direct, like good shots, mostly like yeah. fine, but yeah. like ton of CGI starts bubbling up, a ton of you know it's like losing his touch. Well, I don't even know if it's losing his touch because I I really like Peter Jackson as a director. I just like you had really good source material. Congratulations. Well, King the Kong Hobbit's a little great, different but, though, right? Because it's like the Hobbit's just one book, right? And they split that into three movies, right? That's that's an issue. Yeah, but you don't think they would do the same thing with like... But it, that's where it's flawed, where it's like if you make that one or two at the most. Well, I guess my point is you have... Let's say, okay, so Lord of the Rings, three books. That's training wheels on. Tolkien came out of the grave, took your hand, said, <laughs> walk with me. Yeah. And, and basically you went, you went through the things. You mean The Hobbit was, hey, here's the cliff notes... Yeah. Right, like yeah. here's here's a small book. Right, you got to milk three movies out of it, but at least I give you these milestones on where to get to between there. So you have like from point A to point B, do whatever you want, make it crazy and wild and awesome and and tell a great story. But then you have to get to like Gollum by hour two or yeah. whatever. Yeah, and I don't think they did a good job with it. So yeah. maybe maybe it's too guided. They, they need more but, freedom. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe if you just completely take the training wheels off. Probably not. I just don't trust anybody to do that. Yeah, me neither. I, I just did. It'd be interesting though. It's an interesting thought experiment. It's it's a great land. I just think it's also if you really boil it down, kind of generic compared to a lot of the fantasy worlds that have been yeah, made since then. No, it, for sure because it's pretty dated, and like it's very low magic too. Mm -hmm. And I guess like the you know what makes it so great is just. First of all, what makes it great is Tolkien just had a, such an amazing understanding of his own world. You right. know what I mean? Like, there are just so few people that just know every aspect 
of the entire world. Yeah. Like he knew the innkeeper's name <laughs> and you and, know what I mean? I mean, like, Brandon Sanderson is like the, the big name yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So like that's, who's like finishing like wheel of time and doing all, you know, like, so maybe ah, something there, he but, would never do it. Well, no, but I guess my, my point is I would a thousand percent rather see his world come to life. Oh than, yeah. Yeah. And somebody else try to take a, you know, rest in peace, dead guy's world right. and try to milk it for more money. For sure. No, that's a good point. I mean, uh, cause you're not going to do any better. I, right. Exactly. It, yeah. So that's fair. May, I mean, maybe never say never, but I just, I, wow. it's hard for me it's, to believe that's, that'd be tough. But like a Brandon Sanderson TV show or movie. Uh, I mean, even well, with, you got Dune, man, Dune's the next Lord of the Rings. <laughs> if you like Star Wars and Lord of the Rings, Dune, that was, such Dune a was surprisingly Nate, okay. That was the most Nate trailer yeah. ever. <laughs> I heard you like Star Wars, Lord of the Rings. Dude, that, that was right and in Mass the trailer. Mass Effect 2. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I have to watch Dune um, soon. Doesn't the new one come out in October? Oh, does it? I some, Sometime sure. in the fall. Yeah. So I have to watch the I need, first I one before Chelsea that. I need to watch it too because I want to get to see that. I got to watch it. I don't know what, if I have to watch it with him or if I can watch it by myself. I don't know what the rules were, but I, I got to watch it. You have it? It's on HBO. Do you have that? HBO? Yeah. No. All right. I mean, it's get a free trial. Just watch it. Yeah. Then they're gonna they're gonna email me. I don't want them to email me. I mean, they they've been emailing me nonstop. I get fifty percent off. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. So you do have it? No, I just that they, they keep asking me for it. I got you. I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know. I think the only thing I'm paying for right now is Apple and Netflix. That's surprising. You do like Apple quite a bit. I think Apple is pound for pound one of the. I, well, we don't have to rehash that, but well, I, you lost that argument. I did. Badly. I did. I, Mike took you to school on that. Yeah. I just watched too because I'm not a streaming guy I don't at all. With, I, don't, I, I, I would have said Crunchyroll, so it's like that's where <laughs> I'm at. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, uh, Apple is very high quality. Yeah. Programming, but they have shitty shows. What do you mean? It's just the worst shows ever. Apple? Yeah. What are you talking the about? The worst. Ted Lasso? Morning not, show? Not over For All Mankind? Over After Party? I don't even know. Uh, the see, only one I knew was Ted Lasso. Which I heard Severance? Was good. I should probably pick up Ted, Ted Lasso again. I only watched the first season. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would actually envy you to be able to go from... It was good. I liked it. Season one through three. I liked it. Some good arcs, man. I like, liked it for for pe- for someone who likes to. Get I'll the tell development, you this. I'll tell you this. Some good stuff. It's a Peaky Blinders, right? My friends mm-hmm. are all like, "This is the greatest show of all time. Mm-hmm. You got to watch this. It's a must watch. I watch it. It's good. That's about it. It's Ted good. Lasso is better than Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders was like an eight, maybe. I didn't even finish it though. I got to finish it. I really should. And I usually finish things, so that's very surprising. But the Russian arc was just not it. Peaky Blinders, I would give like an eighty nine to. Wow, the whole that's the whole thing. That's crazy that you'd put it above Cowboy Bebop. That's actually nuts. I <laughs> Ted Lasso, I would give a ninety eight to. Ninety eight? Yeah, that's disgustingly overrated. I it's I, not a ninety eight. Here's the reason why. Ninety eight's like Breaking Bad. Like that's no Breaking Bad. I'd give a hundred. Okay, fair. Like 90, if, if, we're, if we're like talking Sopranos, like ninety eight's like Sopranos. Like Breaking dude, Bad, like crazy I don't good. know what you could do but like it's just perfectly wrapped well done I think like so. it's just like it's someone awesome someone was telling me it wasn't maybe it was Calvin someone maybe it wasn't Calvin someone said Breaking Bad is hard to get into I don't recall that maybe it was you yeah I don't recall that it's, at all it took a few episodes to he kills the guy in the first episode he yeah. locks the guy in his basement and fucking kills him I don't think that's the first episode it's the first couple. First couple, yeah. But that's hard to get in. What I'm saying is, like, it's not like. So, Game of Thrones, like, end of episode one, you're immediately hitting play on that episode. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Because you're just like, what are you. Are you? And then yeah. that goes on. Like, they get, they draw you in, like, with cliffhangers for maybe the first well, like, four or five episodes. Too. I just remember the first time I watched it, I was like up till 4 a.m. Yeah. Every night. Just sure. Because I was like, I, I got to know what happens. Breaking Bad's very, very good. I think that it is a fair point that you do have to get a couple episodes in before you, it clicks with yeah. with you at least for me i don't know i thought i don't remember that i mean it's been a while since i've watched it but 
I just think that no show has made me feel what Ted Lasso has made me feel. Maybe I'm heartless. Maybe. Maybe I'm yeah, maybe don't care. Don't you know family. what actually irks me the most is the sports stuff. Sure. I'm just like, this guy would never be a fucking coach. Like, yeah. this is terrible. Well, if you can't get past that. That's then, what yeah, I'm saying. It's fair. like, it, and that's, you know, I know that's not the point of the fucking show. So they, ex- but I'm just like, but they explore a lot of that. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's not bad and it's not impossible, yeah. but it's like when they lose and he's like, it's okay, guys. I'm like, that is the opposite they, of every instinct I have when you lose a game. It's just terrible. And they will. And the problem is, is they're professionals. It's like, it does matter if we fucking lose. Yeah. I could be fired. They, they explore all of that. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm, but again, that's the season two and three. And like, cause you, you always think like, okay, like what can you possibly do? Right? Like, yeah. And yeah, they, I mean, they do a really good job. Like, hey, I, I got to keep going with it. I would give it like a uh, first season, maybe like an 85. Sure. It's like a solid show. I liked it. Thought it was funny. Thought it was heart, heartwarming. Warmed yeah. up my little toaster oven for my heart. Yeah. No, it wasn't the Grinch after leaving. Like, my heart was still the same size, <laughs> but, like, you know, it was fine. Yeah. It's good. But Pe- you- Peaky was like, Peaky was overrated. Peaky's overrated. Peaky's over. I mean, like, they're cool. I love the accents, I love the costumes, too. Shel- Thomas Shelby's like a cool dude, but like, it's kind of, I mean, it, mm-hmm. it's like, you know, you, you kind of see after like one or two seasons, you kind of see, I got to get to the mob, I guess. Like, I'm not there. I like that's that That's after season. the Russian. Right? Yeah, but I think that's a, that's a peak and then it goes back down in my opinion. And then a blinder. Yeah. 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 I see what you did there. Yeah, I did it. Um, dude, I haven't been watching anything. So I've been just playing video games. We have too many video games to play. Yeah, I mean, what do you you finished Starfield? I finished Starfield. I started uh, Sea of Stars. Yeah, is that I mean, is that speaking worth getting, talking about it? Or like is it? speaking, it's so I'm very early in, so this is just very initial impressions. I don't know what it is, and this isn't. I don't think it's like a JRPG, right? But it's like, yeah, I don't think that I don't style, think it's I guess, right? Yeah, I don't think it's Japanese. It's like but, RPG Maker style. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. right. I don't know what it is about these games, but they are always so fucking slow to get into. Mm-hmm. A hundred percent of the time. And I'm like, dude, I don't like it. Like the intro was like super slow. The game looks nice. It runs good. Um, and it's kind of like a, I don't even know what you call it. All the reviews said it's like a nineties RPG style, I guess. If that means anything to you, I guess that would be like, um, it's like your final fantasy sixes. Yeah. Um, what is the one though? Um, Chrono Trigger. Yeah. It's kind of like oh, yeah, the comparison yeah. They, yeah. They, they were all saying. I feel like they always say that, but like, it, I don't know. It's the same character style yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. So, like, I'm, you know, I'm getting through like the intro and the tutorial and stuff, and it was like so slow. Like, you literally start out and you're doing this like test or something because you're like the chosen ones or some shit. And, uh, and then it goes to a flashback. That's the tutorial. And I have to go through school. And that was like an hour and a half. <laughs> and I was like, Jesus Christ. They really milk this shit. Yeah. yeah. And they like teach you all these things. And I'm like. If you're going Ugh. through. It was. It was <laughs> Let's do school for. Yeah. It oh. was. It was. Uh, so you're saying. Uh, and it was pretty on the nose it. too. Because they were like, dude, this is so boring. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's the perfect thing of if a game is like, oh, this, this is so boring. This sucks. If you still make you yeah, do it, exactly. it's not that's you're not absolving yourself yeah. about, about that. So I mean, we'll see how it goes. So I'm in the very early stages. I think the combat and I, and I'm so early, it might open up even more. But I think it's very interesting where it's like um, you have your like attacks and spells, and then there's different attack types like slashing damage and and blunt damage. Okay, and then you can interrupt like so an enemy will charge up to do a spell. And they'll have symbols above their head on how to like interrupt them. So it, it might be like fire damage, slashing, fire in that order. And then you got to do that oh, to like okay. interrupt them yeah. and stun them. Also, what I really like about this, so it's turn-based, but it has like an active component to it because you can time. If you press A at the right time, you can do a double attack. And if you press A at the right time, when the enemy's attacking you, you can block and reduce some of the damage. So it keeps you kind of engaged and active, and it's cool because, like, 
the enemies will wind up differently. So you kind of learn their style and time it better. Um, so I thought that was pretty neat and interesting because I'm always thinking about like, how do you evolve the turn-based style? Cause right. it's very dated. It's a great style though. Right. Like, and it still works. Cause you think of something like chess. Yeah. Like turn-based is do you, do you always have, work. do you have the opportunity to like, if you just set your controller down, I assume you play with the controller. Yeah. I play with, yeah, I play with the controller on this. Set your controller down. It. Uh, does it get to a point where you can just like stop? Or like, like does the does the battle stop? Or if you just set your controller down, does the enemy just keep pummeling you? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So the, I, the battle stops. Like when it's your turn, it waits for you to go. Okay, it's not awesome. like a Final Fantasy VII where it's active. I forget what they call that. Active time battle. A, ATB. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I know it stops. Okay, but there is an like I said, there's an active component to which I like. So I always like that like innovation of the turn based style because I think yeah, there's a way to. You have to modernize it because I think if you just do classic hit, 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 you know what I mean? It just becomes a numbers game. Yeah. Um, and that's not fun, in my opinion. But I think it's interesting so far. It's got great reviews. Like, it's, yeah, it's, I saw that. And, and the thing is, too, like, I talked about this with you many times because I think it's a very important factor. Like, just because something's high on Open Critic, sometimes it gets skewed because it's very low, like, yeah, like seven people. Yeah, exactly. Liked it, so yeah. it's like, oh yeah, okay. It's just like a niche game. This has like, I'd have to look. I can look real quick, but it's was it in the forties? It's above fifty, I think. It's yeah. and, and it might be even higher than that. It, it was a significant number. I don't think it quite reached triple digits. Like if something's triple digits, and, and it's it like, like a ninety 89, plus, yeah. it's like that's good. You gotta try it. That's out. really yeah. good. Uh, but this was like, I'll start taking it quote unquote seriously if it's like over fifty. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like you can definitely go up or down from there, but I feel like that's a good middle ground. 115. That's crazy. Yeah. 89. Yeah. That's I, that's a good lot. Good on them because that's, that's like crazy. that's a snowball effect, right? Because yeah. like yeah. this is coming out uh, when Baldur's Gate yep. is out and stuff. And yep. I think they that the studio that did that uh, even tweeted and was like, oh, this isn't nerve wracking <laughs> at all. That like one of the greatest RPGs of all time gets released. A week before us, or two weeks, or whatever it is. Yeah, you have IGN, PC Gamer, Eurogamer, Game Informer, like all all the big yeah. dogs. Not that IGN and I mean they're 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 big. Like so, like if but they sometimes skip IGN, on some exactly. Of this, yeah. If IGN isn't reviewing your game, yeah. then like that's already a detriment. Exactly. To, yeah. So, hundred fifteen puts it in like uh, top fifteen of this year of like number. Yeah. And yeah. then 89 is also top 15 easily, mm -hmm. maybe top 10. Yeah. That's insane. So I am definitely have to keep with it. Now, here's the interesting question. How much of this has to do with Game Pass? So it's on Game Pass. That makes it, makes it accessible. So it's like, does that help the snowball effect? Well, I wonder, too, is like, uh, I mean, depending on how open credit, because like I know we kicked around the idea of like, you know, can we get into... Like what open critic qualifications? Like what, yeah, like yeah. do you have to write like a full piece? Can you just write like a paragraph and have it count as long as you have like a portfolio of like reviews and stuff? So we're gonna look at it, but um, yeah, I wonder. I don't think IGN or anybody does like a. Hey, this is on Game Pass, so it's like, like I don't know how much they weight that. Like my, value no, my, wise. my I don't think they do. I think my thing is they might though, because I think it's an important factor. Because think about it, you're paying. I mean, we talked about this with Starfield. Like, you're paying ten bucks. That's that's a huge difference. But yeah, my point is, it might have been under the radar, but it starts gaining traction, and then people see, oh, it's on Game Pass, anyways. Now I'm going to try it out. And then if it gets popular enough, that's when someone like that's an fair. IGN looks yeah. at it, right? That's like my thought. Yeah, but interesting. And, and it's a shame too because that will not be a feather in Microsoft's cap. No, like they, they, the only feathers they have are these wilted, like Redfall and <laughs> yeah. somewhat. I not mean, wilted like, why, Starfield. why wouldn't you? It, isn't that like a place like it's, it's kind of like a, a farm system, right? Where it's like that's a sports reference. Where it's like you mm, have these mm. minor league teams coming up, and you're like, oh, these, this guy's good. Yeah, and then pick them up. Yeah, you pick them up for the studio, like you know what I mean, like, and then you give them a budget for all the the blunders that they do, where with like triple A stuff, their indie portfolio or or the games that they give, like, I'm putting in quotations, but like give for free type of yeah, hey, like.
have Game Pass, and here's like just this plethora of insanely awesome games that anyone, if they could just broaden their horizon past the AAA title or past Call of Duty or whatever, right, might like. You know, it's they, they don't get as much credit for that, and I think that yeah. that's not fair. But at the same time, I, I yeah, get you're, it, you're but, giving them like a platform, I guess, right? Yeah. Kind of yeah. where definitely more eyeballs on the, on the game. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna play it this weekend. We also have to play Payday Three, which I'm yep, that's gonna be this weekend. Tentatively excited about. I don't know how if you have any I thoughts. wasn't a big. Pay, or did you like Payday Two a whole I lot? I loved Payday. You loved. I payday. loved Payday. Okay, so and we'll have like, a good range. yeah. And, and I don't know. Like I, I'm I'm very much like Nate, where bank heists and that like straight up my alley. So oh, like, yeah, that's awesome. My dream is to have an amazing game that's like a bank heist, and I like the first game was like. Bleh. Like, it wasn't great. Uh, and the second one was definitely better, but still, it's like you have to refine some things. Like, there's mm-hmm. definitely some aspects of it that I don't like because, you know, the stealth's not great. And then you have to like pull your gun out to be able to do any moves or anything, which mm-hmm. I hate that. Like, I wish you could just be a normal dude and like hack the systems. You know what I mean? Exactly. And things like that. So, it's small things like that where I wish I could just go in, never pull anything out, rob this place blind. And get, and get out, out with not Nothing. ever triggering anything. Exactly. Yeah. That's the dream, dude. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't care about going loud at all. And, like, some people like that. More power to them. I know in their trailers, they showed a bunch of that gameplay off, which kind of worried me because that's not yep. what I want to do. So I'm really hoping that they've considered and made improvements to the stealth mechanics and, and some of those other aspects. And I was actually thinking, first shower thought in a while, uh, that I'm going to share on the podcast. For shower? Shower thought. Oh, just shower thought. That so I've you've shared. showered. You just I have thought in the shower? No, first shower thought that I've shared in a while. I gotcha. That's what I said. Okay, I'm with you. On the podcast. Yeah. Okay. I do shower. Okay. For the right. I'd yeah, like no, I just, to yeah, you smell lovely. <laughs> Thank you. Um, your cat thinks so. Yeah. Um, so I was thinking about the payday three or payday in general. It would be so great. If, first of all, if there's like a multiplayer where you have like a, a cops first bank robbers sort of situation, right? Like a Rainbow Six. Like a Rainbow Six ish ish. I like I imagine it as like maybe one or two guys is like a security officer potentially, and then the rest get called in. What if? Or they all get called in because like what if there were three banks? Yeah, exactly. So then if you're doing yeah. it right, yeah. the, the, the cops patrol. actually don't yeah. really yeah. know. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And then, oh my God, it could get into like so many things where you have a, an ability where you, like an Assassin's Creed where you can plant fake people yeah. with like suits yeah. that walk into bank too. And they're like, oh, they're over here. And you just divert them or whatever. Or like just set just fire like a to a third yeah. bank. <laughs> <laughs> um, just Jason Momoa, like just burning people down. Yeah, man. right. Sure. And then um, like my thought was how cool would it be? And this, it's a video game, by the way, but yeah. just like a hostage situation. Where like yeah. you're held up, they're outside, and then you have this mechanic of like, okay, the cops lose if any of the hostages die, but the bad guys lose if any of the hostages die. You know what I mean? So mm. it's like this actual standoff, and then there's like some qualifications where you're allowed, like if a police officer steps foot in the building, you are allowed to off like X number of people. And, they and then it's like a balancing, or something, and then yeah. it's like if the bad guys hurt someone you're allowed to do x as a cop or whatever so it's like that would be like a really cool and it would be like this thing where you have like a live mic and stuff and you're like talking you didn't make a negotiate it would be would so be awesome hilarious. if it was so like funny. real time yeah exactly like, exactly <laughs> like it has to be live chat in game yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like mm. that would be so funny yeah and it'd be like a situation where it's like you start negotiating and like uh, it would be great. I think it'd be funny, it but would it'd be, be tough. Yeah, it would be. It'd be the replay aspect that would be really tough to nail down. And I could understand you get some sort of replay whenever you just don't know who you're getting matched up with. Yeah, but then the amount of trolls, the amount of people, like it, that, might be a game though where it's very like Among Us style, where you start mm-hmm. getting streamers. that yeah. have these like yeah. lobby, and then people have their private lobbies, and it's not as much maybe an online thing as like your friends kind of thing like in among yeah. us because among us online is terrible yeah but but that you know like where you're all kind of honor code and yeah you know or, or I mean? there's some sort of like like no cheesing or something and, when you're doing it yeah, where you're trying yeah. to like convince them yeah yeah and I mean, and, I mean, and like you were talking about with among us like you know your friends so the mind games yeah, begin and like yeah. it's i think 
that would be really cool. It so would be you're saying off. we're probably going to be disappointed with Payday 3. Absolutely, yeah. I was thinking <laughs> about that. I was like, that's not definitely not yeah. game. Yeah. But how sweet would that be? It'd be cool. Me neat. Just like the mechanics of that would be so tough to pull off. It's like n- never going to happen. Yeah. Like you'd have to... It would have to be like an Among Us style game where you're sacrificing like the visuals and everything like that to, to have this sort of mechanics. You, you know what I mean? It's worth... It's worth exploring. Like that, that could be a podcast on itself, just an episode where it's like, all right, we're gonna make a better paid <laughs> or a better yeah. a no, better I, bank I, heist game, dude. That would be just yeah, like be fun. so much fun. And the uh, love the city idea. That's why I was excited to bring it on the podcast. Yeah. Again, I do shower, but yeah, the first shower no, thought you, yeah. on the pa- podcast in a while, because uh, then it's like, oh, I think this is cool. And then you always drop something. And I'm like, oh, that's really cool. <laughs> well, because it can't be like. If you have, if you, it's cops and robbers essentially, and there's they it's know like it's one bank, yeah, it's yeah. like obviously they're gonna, right. everyone's gonna be in high alert. But right. if it's like a city, and yeah. you're just like, well, there's three possible locations, we don't really know which. There's yeah. only, you know, there's only. But so that's many why resources. GTA is so fun because you get yeah. like game modes like that, yeah, and it is a city, and you are playing cops and robbers, and then after the heist, you get the the car chase. That's fair, and that's that's that might be the fun most I, fun part. Look, man, I wish. I wish I could I could hit you on and maybe it's just like we play together or something like I wish I could love GTA. Oh my god. You just, just never had a good like like we when need it a clicks, full crew type of thing. Yeah, yeah, when it clicks it's like I like the single player though. Like I think the single player it's is okay. awesome. Yeah. Um I think it's a lot of fun. Like the story's good and everything, but then just like the mods just do it for me cuz like I get like the real life car mods, I get the real clothes. <laughs> Yeah, and then I'm just like a baller, dude. I have like all these designer clothes it's and just like you. Lamborghinis. Yeah, the funny yeah, thing is, awesome. I have to have millions upon millions upon millions of dollars sitting in a bank somewhere because I had the game, and then I felt like during the like a, a year span, every other week they were putting out some sort of apology because something something happened or some exploit happened or something went down or something. Went, so they were just like. Money We're so sorry. Here's a million dollars. And like, dude, how busted is the economy if you're just handing out a million dollars on the people? online mode? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't play a ton of online, but like, that's a great streaming game as well. Where like you get, I mean, it hits something if yeah. if Red Dead's offline and this yeah. is still going. Like, there, there's something there, obviously. But Red Dead's great too, though. I mean, that's a yeah, that's well, a great game. I have it's immersion, man. Too, I mean, yeah. again, it's, it hits my boxes. Sure. I want to just escape life. Yep. And you want I just good want to gameplay. Collect, I just want to collect things. Well, you want to collect things. But yeah. gameplay is your number one. Yeah. Spe- your speaking one. of, yeah. I played a whole bunch of random stuff after Starfield. All right. <laughs> uh, Gunbrella. I, yeah, I saw that on Open Critic. It's okay. It, it's, I thought it did pretty well. It's, I think it's probably around an eight in, in Open Critic, right? 79. I'm, I'm looking. Um, what is it about though? If you just you know, mind. Yeah, you're you were picking mushrooms, as one does, and your family gets murdered and your house gets burned down. Okay. So you pick up an umbrella, seventy nine, that has a shotgun built into it. So think like the penguin. Yeah. Literally. And then you're just jumping around shooting things. Is it a side scroller? Or? Yeah. 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 That's up your alley. It is. I just don't think it's. It feels okay, but it's not like super tight controls, Um, and I just don't really care about the like the characters and different things like that. So I got, I think I played maybe like an hour, two hours of it, something like that. Um, It's fine, but it's just like there's so much other stuff out there that is like it's it's okay. So you liked the uh, League of Legends game better. Sounds convergence cool. yeah. oh it, it, not even close okay. because convergence it was like here's a bunch of different abilities and different things like that and it was yeah. like near immediate and this one it's like <clears throat> i beat a boss i talked to some people i but like it's still just you can jump uh you can like dash with your umbrella and if you hold it down your umbrella pops open you can like float down like yeah. an umbrella does yep. and you just shoot a infinite shotgun at things and like you can get like you can shoot a grenade out of your shotgun, or you can shoot mul- like a machine gun out of your shotgun. But it's like, no, a shotgun's pretty powerful. <laughs> like you just keep using that, and <laughs> yeah. I, I worked. Uh, it's like the um, what's it called, the plasma cutter in 
Dead Space. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Exactly like that, where it's like, no, this is good. <laughs> I, I don't need anything else, thanks. And they're like, oh, we I just out. backed yeah. that shit out. Yeah. It was just tap one tapping people. Um, I will say towards the end, uh, where like there's like the first boss, you beat the boss, and then you go and, and kind of save the people you were trying to save or whatever. And then some like unforeseen things happen, and I'm like, oh, I didn't see that. I didn't see that happening. It was like, but I saw it as funny when really the game's like trying to be like super serious about it. And I'm like, ah, it's just like totally is just like I'm not You're connecting detached. with it. Yeah. It's really hard, um, especially in like a side scroller. I mean, it's been done. Like Ori is really good, but it's like it's hard to be like caring about things when it's like this. Like I'm calling eight bit, like sixteen bit, whatever it is side scroller type thing where you're just this like do just blasting everyone with a shotgun right just giving them all over the place um or he's good though or or he's next <laughs> level but that's, but that's a perfect that's example the of the the controls are extremely extremely tight and fun just to move in the environment and i just felt that the like the jumping and the the aiming of the shotgun and everything was just a little too imprecise for me to feel good about it. Like there are plenty of good, like Ori's really good. Um, Dead Cell's really good. Like that, that's like masterclass, like just feel. Yeah. This just didn't hit it for me. Um, one that did hit it for me, Shadow Gambit, uh, The Cursed Crew. Yeah. Is like the full title of it. And uh, that's if you ever played the um, Shadow Tactics, which is like this, like I think Feudal Japan uh, stealth action game um, or Desperados 3, which I guess they play, did other two. I don't know. Um, where it's it's all live, but you it's like this top-down, you control different characters that have different abilities, and you basically, it's all stealth, so like you have like cones of vision and stuff like that. Yeah. But you're creeping around, taking out dudes, doing objectives, and getting out of the, the map. Um, the other two games were really fun because I played the Shadow Tactics and Desperados, but the this game hits different because it's pirates, which I'm an easy mark for. Yep. Um, all the characters are extremely like bombastic because you're on a, this like dead pirate ship, so all of you are like ghosts and dead pirates, basically. <clears throat> so like your right. your main character, uh, which is I think her name's Afia. Something. What was Man, it called again? The game. Uh, Shadow Gambit: The Cursed Crew. Gotcha. Um, I think her name's Afia uh, um, Mantacaro or something. I don't know, but okay. Well voiced, like really well. Like the, I was actually that's the main shocked character, at, right? That's who you start as. So the, okay. the nice thing is, there's like eight characters you can play as, and you can pull in like four at any given time or three at any given time, depending on the map. Yeah. Um, but then you have to like pick like okay, in this map, uh, there's a lot of, like, elevation, so I'm going to bring my sniper here, and then I'm going to bring the sniper, I'm going to bring this other guy, I'm going to, you know, like, whatever, because they're all specialized. Right. So, like, she can uh, zip around and, like, freeze time almost and, like, kill somebody, but she's a little bit weak and can't, like, throw a dude over the shoulder and hide him in the grass as fast as, like, the skeleton guy that can, like, kill somebody. He's a little bit louder. He can't crouch and carry bodies, but he can murder somebody and get him out of there faster than her. So like you have to like pick and choose depending on like the routes of the enemies and how fast they're going and stuff. Right. And the cool thing is you can hit shift, pause time, and then be like, okay, you're going to go do this thing and you're going to do this and you're going to do this and this and this. And then like oh, you plan it all out. Like an XCOM? And then you hit play. Does XCOM do that? Uh, not really, but. Something does that. Uh, yeah, it's. Um, That's super cool. I love it. But yeah. it's super neat. Yeah. And then you hit play and you just watch it all go down. Yeah. And then you can hit pause again and then you like, okay, now you pick up the body, you pick up the body, you pick up the body. That's how I kind dream. of like hide and stuff. Yeah. That's how I dream like D&D &D is. Yeah. Where you yeah. talk about a whole turn and then. You could hit play and, just and like, it's that's and what it's happens. super. They do yeah, it yeah. so so well. That's and the, awesome. cool, the the coolest thing <clears throat> is at the end of the uh, the board. And like these things take like, I mean, granted, I it's me. I'm like going around making sure I collect everything and do it like. Everybody. So it's like a strategy. It's definitely game. a strategy. Yeah, game. It's yeah, like yeah. It, there's a bunch of different solutions to the puzzles, but yeah. it's like depending who you have on the map. And early on, you your options are very limited. Right, but right. you can go back to these maps and have different objectives and there's different enemies and different things. And like certain enemies are like, okay, well, if you whistle, 
the lower level enemies will come to you, but the higher enemies are like, I'm not going to bother with that. Or and then you have to start thinking like, okay, if the low, if low level guy is talking to a high level guy, then he's not going to come either. Or if you have these two psychic guys uh, that are like mentally linked, they'll show you on the map like, okay, like these two are linked. You have to take them out together because if you don't, then the other one just resurrects for some reason. So it's like a lot of cool little puzzles, but all the characters are so unique where like Afia, who's like the main character, she just has a sword in her chest. Like that's her, her sheath, right? So like, she, like if she's attacking somebody, she like rips it out of her chest, kills a guy, and then like shoves it back into the side of her chest. <laughs> that's uh, uh, pretty the, the metal. The skeleton guy uh, is just like a, a, a chef, like he's a sushi chef. But he uh, really, really cool. And you know how I like sushi and uh, Dave the Diver. Is it so Dave? Is it's it not Dave. Dave in the it's future? not Dave. No, because this sure? guy's ja- he's Japanese. So uh, Dave's not. J- Dave's not. No, but Dave's. All, but he does friend? like these cool like. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's probably Dave's friend <laughs> c- competition. <laughs> oh no, um, Dave killed him. <laughs> <laughs> but the uh, and then there's one. There's like this zombie uh, lady. Like bi- think like big buff. Ch- uh, honestly, think. Uh, uh, Zarya or whatever Overwatch, from Overwatch, yep, yeah, 100%. basically her, but right like there zombie form. Yep, she has a big cannon. She's the uh, cannon so exactly right? like her. Yeah, but her whole thing, her whole shtick, is super slow, big, whatever. She can still like crouch, but whatever. Uh, whenever you kill somebody, you can take corpses and shove them in her cannon. So she doesn't shoot cannonballs out of her cannon. She just shoots corpses. So like, if okay. you want to hide a corpse. Funk goes in your can, and <laughs> shoots it out either into the water yeah. or into a bush or whatever. That's funny. Or if you want to take one of your people. So like for for instance, I have a, a sniper, right? Old like this old lady that's like just a really crack shot sniper. Yeah. She can't climb vines. So like in, in different areas, it's like she can climb ladders, but she can't climb vines or she can't swim. And they have everyone has all these little like attributes, a weakness. right? Yeah. 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 So Normally, she can't climb vines, but there's like, oh, if I could just get her on top of this church. Sure enough, cannon, cannoneer comes, thunk, shoots the sniper up on this thing that normally you couldn't get to. So like, that's how you kind of create your teams given the, the different areas you go to. Super, super cool. Yeah. But at the end of, in each of these missions take between like 30 to 40 minutes, typically, if you're doing like pretty Completionist. hardcore. Yeah. yeah. Um, but at the very end, does this super top uh, high level think like a like a football play yeah. and it literally shows you exactly what you did in oh, fast time wow so it's like here's where you started and it'll show you every attack you did on everyone so it's like this entire map full of like tiny little dots like let's say like 50 dudes yeah and you just watch your crew just decimate like the entire island and stuff that's awesome when all that's done you go back to your ship um uh, the red Marley and who's like a spirit ship or whatever. Yeah. But then every character has their own story arc and in between every mission, you can pick one character to advance their, their arc. So I picked the sushi guy <laughs> and <laughs> of course. he, he's literally training. Uh, he was like, I need to make uh, I'm not gonna do the accent, but he's like, I need to make like food for the crew. And he's like, I'm going to get some fe- fresh fish that we had strung up. But then you're like, okay, you're just going to make sushi. But then you go to talk to the fish, and the fish talks back to you, and That's is just like, "Oh, sensei, like teach me to be a ninja just like you." And then you end up just training this fish to be your like, what? It's it's insane, dude. <laughs> That's not what I was but expecting. it's so goofy and yeah. stupid and yeah. hilarious. And, and then you and then the fish is in your party. He's not in your party. It's uh, just part of the it, dude's storyline. Okay. And this is like. How sweet would that have been? Five, six chapters of it, right? Good fish. Yeah, right. Well, he was like, you have to get me this plant of blah, 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 blah. And then that was it. And like, that's the, that's the thing. But then yeah. the next time you talk to it, he's like, here's the plant master or whatever, or yeah. sensei. And yeah. it's just like, what? He's like, it's <laughs> funny. It's dumb. But every, uh, every place you go to, you get uh, a pearl or you get a spirit and you need one pearl and one spirit, and you basically combine them, and you can. That's how you revive your different crewmates. So you can. It, the cool thing is, you can literally pick how you unlock your crew. Right. Um, but anyway, all that stuff really, really good. I'm loving that game. Like that's. It's such a. It's like the other games were good, but this. It's like the subject matter, and it's just the refinement of it. Awesome. No, I think it's right up your alley. I love gameplay it. Gameplay and yeah, 
very yeah that's interesting i i really love that concept of the demo's out so it's like it, you can play i think the first three maps for free or something like that like essentially like the whole tutorial it's really really good yeah i don't know if i can get to this no no, no. I, I mean, and that's, that's, that's completely fair um and then sorry real quick the last one was uh, i did start playing lies of p uh which is the souls like pinocchio game yep um on game pass holy cow it looks better than elden ring and i don't know I if didn't it's say it yeah I didn't well say like it. it certainly performs better than elden ring yeah. Okay, get get out of here, Superman. Sorry. My cat is Soups. Come on. Come on. Um It's it's fun. Elden Ring it's didn't neat. perform well in terms of on PC? No, I mean to be fair, I haven't played it recently, but it man was it a stuttering. You didn't mass. have your new uh, computer though when you did that. I did. I played it since I had my new computer. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Um no, this this is like butter. This is 120 yeah, frames, yeah. easy, completely maxed out. Like It looked great on like the yeah. trailers and stuff, so I was it's curious. A, it's a cool concept. So it's like you're Pinocchio, you're a human boy, but you have like a mechanical arm and it's just like puppets Ed, everywhere. Sword, I mean. Yeah, well, <laughs> so the the cool thing is uh your sword, so you uh, you pick like you want like your balance class, your super fast class, or your heavy class just to start. And you have the sword and you're like running around and and killing puppets and, and whatever, which yeah. are essentially just robots. It's a very, it, it feels very iRobot, honestly, <laughs> like just going through it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you're killing things and your uh, sword durability goes down. But the funny thing is your arm is essentially like the, like the whetstone for it. So like to uh. get your, instead of like reloading almost, like to get your durability back up, you take your sword and you just hold it next to your like mechanical arm and does this cool like animation, just like, like you see the durability shoot back up and I'm like, man, that's kind of, it's kind of cool. It has yeah. some style. Yeah. Um, so I got through that. I, I got, uh, I went to the first boss that beat me 10 ways to Sunday or whatever. Yep. Beat him. Um, and that's, yeah, I got to like, I'm going to find Geppetto now. Like that's my, so you're enjoying it. Yeah. We'll see. Um, is it, I'm sure that the next boss is going to be that much harder. Like I'm sure the, Oh, Everyone's if you had a problem with the eyes. first one, yeah, like, it's not looking good for it's, you. It's hard for me to believe that anyone that played Elden Ring or likes Souls likes spent more than like 10 minutes on the first. Not even. They probably knocked it out. Like if they didn't beat it on the first go around, they'd probably beat it on the second. But it the took reviews me like for Lies of P seven weren't, or eight tries. weren't great. Like low 80s. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's good. It's good. Decent. It's not, not great. Though. It's not Elden Ring. But yeah. So that, that it is very much more on rails, which is maybe why it performed a little bit better. Yeah, but okay. It, I was, and you know how I am, but it's like he's wearing like this white blousey shirt, right? Yep. Going around doing his thing. And you go outside and it's starting to rain. Mm, and then you start, go. and then you just start <laughs> seeing like it's not just like they didn't put just a sheen of gloss on it. It was his white shirt is now starting to be slightly tan. And yeah. uh, you could start seeing his skin through the, the sheer fabric and stuff. I'm like, that's pretty cool. Like it's a good. Rain effects, concept. water yeah. effects, quickest way to Tyler's heart. It, I I appreciate it. Yeah, no, so, it looks sick. I mean, yeah. Um, I will say Shadow Gambit though. Just to jump back real yeah. quick, pretty decent reviews. Eighty five. What, what's eighty five? Yeah, with fifty one critics. Okay, all right. Just that's solid. I mean, yeah. that's that's pretty decent. I eighty five is a mighty. I think mighty I have guy. it at eighty seven right now. Um, okay, because I'm, I'm about five hours in. So, so your scores we'll are fluid. So you score them as you go. Yes. And then, okay. Yeah. I I wait till the end. I, I like wait to, till the end. For I me. like to have a judgment. Uh, it's kind of like almost like a, um, like you can kind of see where like I oh this started out really strong right. So if I'm playing a game and it's like, holy cow, this was amazing right. Like, yeah. Like, great start. And then it starts kind of like going down or up or down. Like, you know, like you can kind of start seeing it. And I think yeah. Dave the Diver was a perfect example of that. Where like I started and it was like maybe 82 or whatever. And then you just see it like just skyrocket as more yeah. and more and more goes through. Yeah. Uh, same with like uh, neon white. Like, so we just to kind of loop that back in we went through all games that we've played <laughs> for the past two years are on there now scored, ready to go. Um, couch company dot games, couch company dot games yep. with uh, stipulations on like, if just one of us played it, our name is going to be on there. So right now I'm, I feel like it's weighted way more in my favor because I'm you doing play a it million play indie it. games. I, I, like, I, don't, I, like I can't keep games. up. I can't keep up. Um, and the problem is you don't finish them. I finished a lot of last year. So like that's okay. the, that is one of the stipulations, right? So 
and I don't know if you've noticed, like on some of the the lists that we've done uh, for this year, even I've just deleted. It's where I'm like, okay, I'm putting this on here because I want to play this game, and then it's like I either it didn't hit for me and I just really didn't like it, or I didn't want to play enough of it to give it like a true score. Because if it doesn't grab me in the beginning, I mean, we don't get paid for this, so it's like I'm not gonna yeah no, keep going sure. right. right. Yep. Um, but I'm also not gonna say, oh, this was a forty game and, right. and that was it with the exception of like maybe you could make that argument with Redfall but I think we played enough of Redfall no, we played to enough, understand yeah. what we did is. not play enough of uh, blanking blanking Remnant no the no. Bioshock kind of Russian game oh Atomic Heart Atomic yeah. Heart we did yeah. not play enough of that no. I couldn't get into it it was so yeah. boring um, I think so like Street Fighter 6 I think we'll probably end up getting off the list uh, because I don't care about that game at all and i respect it dude i have to play it i you you're better off playing mortal Kombat. i think i, I have to play it i said i was gonna play it and i have to play and that's it. fine i but if you want something that will actually be like like story-wise or actually like oh yeah you're right about it, like you're mortal Kombat right. just it's 100%. not even close so but i kind of want to play it I don't yeah. know why. Well, I mean, dude, do whatever you want. I don't care. I'm just cool. But, she looks cool. But that's how that's how everything scores. So everything scored there. Um, and then uh, the, I think the two that, that uh, Jeff. So what killed Jeff uh, that I, I gave him was Elden Ring and yeah. uh, Sifu. Were were those two? So like Elden Ring specifically, because if it was up to me, Elden Ring would have like a 67. Yeah, I mean he's he. he um, we, yeah, I mean. Yeah. Nobody would listen to us anymore. He right. Had to come so, in but that's fair, right? Like, and I think Eliza P is going to be a similar thing where I don't know how he feels about it. Actually, he said it was good. He said it was good. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. It's, it's not Elden Ring, but it's one of those like Elden Ring is like one of the best. If ever, if he scores it, and it's just like, all right, cool, we trust you. Here, and you just put it up, yeah. and it's what yeah. it is. Like, I, I won't be. If he's comfortable Li with it, we'll yeah. do it that way. But. I won't be playing Eliza P. So I, mean, I have to trust someone else. Yeah. I just I, like those. Just are are not my games, dude. If I'm just shocked at how well it's running. I think that's a big, it's yeah, a big again, deal. Again, you're a yeah. performance gameplay guy. But for a game that is so dependent on like perfect timing and getting, you know, like like being able to like flip the camera and see where what's coming and, and like it should feel. I shouldn't. I shouldn't be fighting the performance of a game yeah. and being all stuttery and bogged down because yeah. it just feels wrong. Uh, yeah, but then you shit on the visu deal. visuals too. So it's like a catch. 22, right? Yeah, well, but Eliza P is a perfect example of you can have decent looking visuals because I think it uses Unreal Engine. But then you sacrifice engine. open world. <sighs> Maybe. It, I mean, 100%. we'll see how it opens up. I don't know. Uh, but I, I mean, you're in a city, right? It's not going to... For right now, yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I, I imagine it's going to be on the rails for the entire game. It's my Probably. It's, it, it, people are putting it to like Bloodborne or whatever. Bloodborne is like yeah. loved though, so I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, but Bloodborne runs like crap. Like, I didn't enjoy say your cinematic say thirty it. frames a second. I didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't me. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so payday is coming. Uh, what, I have some bad news for us, by the way. What? You know, what? Just while I'm on Open Critic, okay. I was like scrolling through. Yeah. Uh, any guess for what payday three is sitting at right now, or should I not tell you? Maybe this will influence your thoughts on it. Sixty. Higher. 65 67 yeah it's a blue it's blue it's yeah. not a sick guy but it's a sad guy but that's that's within our that's <laughs> sure so bad yeah it's pretty bad although i think there's only like a couple reviews so i uh, well yeah. um, cyberpunk though which i'm really excited yeah for. that's uh, that's another one 89 yeah. mm -hmm. that's pretty big I think it always Spot gave it a 10 yep which is unheard of if it, for a yeah. uh expansion pack to be like oh it's 10 out of 10 is it just me or is like the expansions in recent years have just been like some of the highest rated things i've seen like yeah. final fantasy 14 expansions mm -hmm. forza expansions are well, like yeah, really like amazing oh weird if you craft a well-paced tight feature rich thing yeah it reviews well versus your bloated open world repetitive game yeah, like although sh a shocker, I will say opposite effect on Horizon. Horizon Forbidden West scored really well. Yeah, DLC, meh, a little meh, yeah. not meh, but like okay, like in like low eighties, yeah, or mid eighties or something. Not I low eighties had to be I low. Have it's to purple. Play it. I haven't played it either, so it's like, yeah. 
But if that was like a nine in the nineties, mm-hmm. like the game was, or it, like it wasn't. high eighties, I, I don't even think it was high eighties. Horizon? I think Horizon Forbidden West was no, was, it was like eighty nine. I, I think it was mid. I don't. I don't think it was eighty nine. Mid. Yeah, no I, think, I think it was purple. What? What? I think so. The game? I think the so. The regular game? I think so. Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger me? Yeah. All right. It was not purple. I'll cheeseburger you. Really? Yeah. I'm not oh, looking yeah, at it. We, yeah. actually not looking at to, it. we actually have to shake. That's fine. We have to I shake. I owe you dinner tonight. Oh, are you going yeah, to do it with tonight? That? Is that why we're doing it tonight? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's part of it. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, searching it right now. Just getting a quick cheeseburger. I, I might be. Yeah, 88. Yeah, yeah. 88. Okay. I mean, that's that was, right. that was that's easy. Fair. What's the what's purple? What it would... What's the drop? Is it 86 or 84, something? 84, I think. 84. Yeah. Um, right. yeah, let me just look at the uh, Burning Shores real quick. 81 on Burning Shores. So it's Interesting. like... Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. I digress. Um, yeah, I'm excited for Cyberpunk because it, it's in like a really good... I think after the 2.0 update and the DLC... I think it's in a really good spot now. I'm going, uh, I'll go Blades. So I'm going Marksman Rifles, Blades. Uh, they they like else. totally revamped the yeah. skill. Tr- uh, so you've seen this stuff. Yeah. And Which almost made me want to start a new character. Yeah. Because um, I just started a new character because I was using it for reference for Starfield. And then I was like, I kind of want to like start again, again. But there's only so many times you pick this chick up from the bathtub, right? <laughs> like it's just like I, if I if I start over again, I'm never gonna get to where I need to be. Yeah, um, you run into uh, Fort Joy. I just forget. Well, I, I just forget how in a, like you could. I, I don't think my early decisions are gonna mess me up. I guess no. Like I put a lot into body where I'm like eh, I probably don't need that much, but it you is can respect what it is. once for free. I think can you? I think so. That's what they said. Come on, cat. Cat man, or, you just push him off. I, I don't want to. You can push him off. Goodbye. Right. Um, <laughs> there's a cat like two yeah, inches in front of my face. Right. By the way, that's what listeners. I mean. You're you're allergic. I'm doing okay actually today. <laughs> Your cats are going crazy. Yeah, well, they're just it, fucking fighting each other. It's dinner close time. Close to yeah, yeah. It's close to dinner time. Um, but yeah. Anyways, really excited for Cyberpunk, and there's just so many fucking fighting games I have to play. Like I want to play Mortal Kombat. It looks yeah. amazing. Like the game looks really nice. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just that we're seeing it on a crunch down phone. Uh, it looks so good on my no, phone. No, exact. But that's exactly right? it. Where like same with Street Fighter. Street Fighter does not. So Street Fighter has uh, whenever you're picking your character <clears throat> and you select it, and it does this like almost like ray traced close up. You could see all the pores. It's like really good quality, and then it flashes to like. Not as good quality, and then you get into the gameplay. And Mortal Kombat is like the the actual gameplay, super smooth, really good. But it's capped at sixty; it doesn't go above that. Street Fighter does go to one hundred and twenty, but like the movies are thirty. the The game board, so they got rid of the crypt, and now you're like running around on a game board to do stuff. Yeah, it's an okay concept, but like that's thirty. It seems like, mm. and it just feels not great. Um, so you, I don't beat, know. you beat the like, story, right? Yeah, story you beat in maybe like uh, I would seven ish hour, maybe five, five between five and seven hours. Like it's pretty short. Okay. Um, Street Fighter doesn't really have a story. That's kind of the problem. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's like the world yeah. tour mode or it whatever. Which so, I, dude, I I don't care. I would be playing it for the fights, which is like totally the opposite of what <laughs> I should ever do. <laughs> so this is, I don't even know if I should say this on air. But this is really dumb. So I made, I made this like little old lady. That's my fighter. Just like tiny old lady. Cause like I, in my mind, I was like, I'm going to make her and then eventually you and I will fight and I'm going to bring out my character. You're going to bring out your character and I'm just going to whoop your butt with this like old lady. She has like this gray hair, like bang. So you can't actually see her eyes and stuff. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah. But anyway, so I'm this old lady. All right. So picture that. Yep. And I talk like you go through like the intro story or, or like intro cinematic and you have to talk to this chick, and she's like, oh, you can fight anyone in the world, and blah, 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 and like, go up and, and start challenging people. And I'm like, okay. And I, and I don't know if it's randomly generated or what. I could only fight black people. 
No. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm looking around and I'm like, this seems like it was just, it was odd. And maybe just because <laughs> so like my line of work up. and stuff, I'm always looking at like diversity and stuff. And I was always trying to be like, you know, whatever. Yeah. I'm looking around and I'm like, because <laughs> you could tell because the people have their levels above their head or whatever. Yeah, yeah. People are walking around and stuff. Yeah. And it's just like, they're all NPCs, right? All NPCs. Yeah. And I just couldn't find, in my immediate vicinity, like eventually I just ran out of like, the group that you're supposed to fight. I mean, you can go to like Japan and stuff, right? So yeah, yeah, because you got to go and like meet all the yeah Street around the world, and yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. But just in that little area, because you have to like go fight somebody, then run back to her and say, "Hey, I fought somebody," and she's like, "Great, now go eat some pizza." It's sure. not compelling, right? No, like, at all. No. Um, I wish they did like in Street Fighter Five. I'm pretty sure they did like a story mode. Uh, yeah, I, like, I like a off of five pretty quick, like but a you're closer to it, Mortal yeah. Kombat esque. Ish, yeah. Like, there's a story. Not, no one does Mortal Kombat like that, but yeah. No, yeah. but you know what I mean. I mean, like, I'd prefer that. I mean, they were trying something new, and like, yeah. I, I think that creative characters hilarious. Like, there's some f- funny yeah. things. There's also some really impressive things. Like, I watched some of the, um, like, online battles or whatever, because there's like a, you know, yeah. You can do your, you know, avatar or whatever online, and like, there's some cool. Yeah, people make some really cool stuff. So, yeah, I don't know. I want to try it. I just think, like, I love, I kind of like the character design in Street Fighter more than Mortal Kombat. Like, is that crazy? Um, And I've never been super into either. Like, I can't even tell you the last time I played, I've never played Street Fighter, and I can't tell you the last time I played Mortal Kombat. Like, it just depends if you want an exaggerated style. Like, you you want something a little bit more stylistic. Yeah. So, you're saying, like, Street Fighter is, like, exaggerated. Oh, yeah. Well, everyone's yeah. super glossy yeah. and super, it's, like... It's like, anime as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, I can see their, that. Their biceps are the size of my yeah. body. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's awesome. The, it seems almost like Mortal Kombat has, like, even dialed it back a little bit, where it's, like, they're very realistic. They're yeah. very... Yeah. Um, I mean, within the realm of uh, yeah, Mortal but like Kombat they, thing, but... Yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. Like, yeah. even... Yeah, like, even... Uh, like nobody's like super over built or anything. It's just right. like a dude that's like, yeah, you could be an actor, whatever. Sure. Yeah, like, yeah, good job, Johnny Cage. Which Johnny <laughs> Cage, he's annoying, and I understand Johnny Cage is supposed to be annoying, but I really want to go back to Eleven and see if it's the same voice actor or what. But like, mm. he's the actually the well, two people. He, he, I don't really like his delivery. Okay, like the character, or whatever, but don't love his delivery. Um, cause you know, this is all resetting right. the Mortal Kombat universe. Um, Megan Fox sh- is worse than Ronda Rousey was in 11. So they brought in Ronda Rousey to be like Sonya Blade, right? Yep. Like that was the voice actor, was a whole big thing. And it yeah. was like, why'd you pick her? Whatever. Megan Fox <laughs> is terrible. Oh, like I, I can't hate to see it. And I loved her in New Girl. You did? But my God. Goodness, is she voice a acting's hard? Terrible voice, hard. voice actress. Have you ever seen? Uh, did I ever show you the NBA? Yeah, game. That's that's literally that's equivalent. the worst. Yep, equivalent. No, no. NBA is worse. Okay, but you know how it was just like you're literally just reading. Like yeah. you're not. There's no inflection. There's yeah. no nothing. That's yeah. literally it. Yeah. Like the is she, the NBA she's one. A, is she like a vampire. We we don't choose to be vampires and monsters. And then they like fight. <laughs> you know, it's like, okay. <laughs> That's funny. The NBA one's bad. Yeah. Oh, that who was whenever that? I need a was funny it, laugh. That's, that wasn't Shaq. Who who was Oh, it was like all they got all like all the players. Oh, it was just to all voice them. themselves. Oh, really there was oh, yeah. there was one really egregious one or one that always makes the round and like it's TikTok and stuff. Bad. Yeah. It's bad. Um <laughs> whenever I need a chuckle, that's one of my go tos. Yeah. Um Yeah, I just think Wow, fighting games are just in such a good spot right now. Yeah, I guess Mortal Kombat was another game I played that we didn't talk about. But yeah, yeah I played Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wow, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, and you have Tekken coming out. Tekken's January. Crazy. Yeah, and Tekken doesn't do the story nearly as good as Mortal Kombat. Like maybe but they'll maybe, surprise maybe us. they do. Maybe they'll surprise we'll us. The I'm problem- so bummed that Street Fighter because like I think fighting games have like some of the coolest because in a fighting game it's in imp- it's an imperative to have amazing characters. Yeah, because you need a good roster and you need like unique and interesting characters. That's like the life and blood of a good fighting game, right? So it's like 
I'm a character guy, right? Like, obviously. And that leads to like, man, I want to get into the lore of this because the characters are like when you talk about Tekken and like pandas and has a crush on a bear or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. just like, that sounds fucking hilarious. That's right. awesome. And like, this guy died five times. He's back. I'm like, yeah, let's yep. let's do that. There's a fucking guy with a panther mask on, but Jaguar. Even that pales in comparison. Where like in like I don't know anything about Street Fighter. If you if you know the Street Fighter lore, then maybe this would got, do something for I you. I got a but, little into it, but like the bare bones. But like it doesn't do anything in the game. Like I was like, I know, okay, hey, I, I want to do the arcade, and it was like That's I picked why I was, Blanca. I was kind of bummed because I was like, no. oh, I, you know, I'll. Um, I don't even know what I was expecting because they were like upfront about it. They were like, oh, it's just going to be world tour mode. And I'm like, I I, yeah. I still thought there was going to be like an arcade mode with like, maybe it'll be DLC or something. I don't know. But I like kind of like got a little bit of the backstory and I wanted to do the same thing. Well, for Mortal Kombat, it's actually perfect because they're like resetting everything. So I can just yep. jump in and just like, I don't know what the fuck was going on, but who cares? Yeah. Um. So like I'm set for that, but I was like kind of bummed because I was like, oh man, like I just think the Street Fighter character is so cool. Like, you have um, Ryu, right? Yep. And he's like this old gruff dude now. I'm like, yeah. his character design's great. Like they're all like aged up. I love when properties do that. They age up their characters. Yeah. Times passed. Things have happened. Things are canon. Like that's super cool to me. And that was Tekken three, and yeah. they, it was like they just stopped. Like they just froze yeah. in that time. Yeah. They aged everyone up, and yeah. it was like sick. And yeah. then that was it. And it's like you have to have a balance because it's like okay, well, if you're on Tekken eight, <laughs> yeah, it might they might all be too old, and then we lose all our icon. Because like I remember you said they did that with like two, where was it two where they killed everyone, and then it's like it was three. So three they killed essentially most of the roster of two and all their like kin kids were, and yeah. stuff and everything in there. But then like turns out everyone that yeah. died basically yeah. didn't die. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, I would I will say with Mortal Kombat, like the difference was in Street Fighter, it's like, hey, a very anime, like, be the best, help out <laughs> each other, <laughs> love your neighbor, <laughs> go kick all these black people's asses. You know, like that's basically well, what it's I don't think I'm just telling you. Capcom would come out all right, say, all right. I don't know. But it was just dumb when yeah, I'm a, yeah, this yeah, little yeah. old racist yeah. white lady running around just <laughs> <laughs> knocking dudes that would like just one so hit. Anyway, up. it's so dumb. Uh, anyway, yeah. But all of that, and then you look at like Mortal Kombat, where it's literally like a really good cinematic, like yeah. good looking cinematic. Yeah. The transitions, the the worst transition part is just the fact that it goes from like thirty to sixty. If it was just all sixty, it would be butter. Yeah, it'd be really really nice. Yeah. Um, and the resolution's a little. I think it's like rendered at like ten eighty p instead of four. Is like mm. little weird stuff there. Mm. But like it starts out and it's like. You have Raiden, who isn't the god of thunder anymore, with Liu Kang, and they're just farming. And that was it. And then they go for a drink, and then it, the whole thing just goes. And it's just like, you learn to love the characters and love their backstories and stuff. And it's very similar to um, Arcane, where if you know anything about the characters, when you see them in one, like Mortal Kombat 1, like this newest one, which I know is a little confusing, they look slightly different, but by the end of the game, they get to mostly where they were like their classic looks. Right. So it's like, Oh, that, I'm making this up. But like, that's weird. You, how do you have two legs right now? And then like, by the end, like, Oh, you're going to have one leg. You know, that's not a thing. One leg like, stand. Dude. Yeah. One leg like, stand. Favorite. is just going to, you know, um, but like uh, the, what was it? The, who was the green? It's not. Hulk. It's it, you have Scorpion, Sub Zero, and then uh, oh, uh, I don't, I don't know, Lizard, Lizard guy or whatever. Yeah. Which I, I'm, my argument was, you make him care about you, but then I can't remember his name. Um, but like you actually care and stuff. So yeah. Anyway, no, that's cool. I I like that too. Like making it work, right? Yeah, yeah. Man. Oh, anyways, uh, top five. Yeah, I know we we ran long. We we have time for a top five. We blowing through. We could blow through it, All or right. we could save it. It's up to you. I mean, we saved it from last week. We may as well knock it out if we feel like we can Just do knock it out of the park. Right. Yeah. So this week we were talking. Uh, I think this is Chelsea's suggestion. Tyler's wife. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Top five wizards. Yeah. Top five wizards don't have a good segue. I guess there's some wizards in in Mortal Kombat. Sorcerers. Otherwise, they would be on the list. Uh, really? Yeah. See, that's the thing. Okay, so we got to talk rules. Yeah, we got to talk rules that. here. So what are, the, what are the rules? What makes a wizard a wizard? 
and we're including witches as well, I'm assuming. Yeah. 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 Go ahead, Tyler. Give us what is a wizard? I don't know. Yeah, me neither. My my hard and fast rule was if they were ever referred to as a wizard, it counts. <laughs> Yikes. Uh Okay, I have some wizards on for, here then. For for instance. Yep. Uh to me, wizard like the D&D definition is like learned magic. Yeah. As opposed to natural magic? Sure. As opposed to heavenly magic but then so the the only and we talked about this briefly while we were both drunk at a casinos but it was the the idea yeah. is if you go with that logic then like dr strange is a wizard i i have him yeah but he's the sorcerer supreme he's a wizard he's a wizard <laughs> right, but he's a wizard. But then you also argue that like Gandalf isn't a wizard. Gandalf's not a wizard. Correct. But he literally doesn't matter. Is a wizard. He's not. But he's a wizard. He's a he's, divine being. He he's calls not a wizard. himself a wizard. It doesn't matter. I can call myself a champion. I'm not. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> the divine beings are wizards, though. That's the whole thing. They're not. They're not. He's more of a cleric, if anything. I, look, if you're going by D and D rules, sure. But I what just I'm think saying that is, if how do you, wizard, how, how else do you make sense? Jedi of it? are wizards, yes, because the creator of Jedi call them space wizards. They also have to hone their craft in the force. laser swords. They learn, yeah, the force. Sure, they study it. Wizard studying, yeah, school. Harry Potter is a wizard. You're a, you're a wizard, Harry. Yeah, he said it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I, I, don't I, I mean, we could count Gandalf because like. He's on every wizard list ever. Yeah. But I'm just saying he shouldn't count. He's a god. He's like divine. It's just that universe. That's what I mean is when you start going I with guess. different universes, it's yeah. not it's Fair. not super great. All right, we'll try to Cuz like in in uh the Mistborn things they're alamancers. Right. Right? So right. like got any uh, got any of that? Those in there? Yeah. 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 yeah? I, that's why I pointed over there. That's there the, the biggest one. No, I mean the in the in your I'll, I guess I'll learn. No, I don't. I took them out because them out. because I remember you saying like it's a learned thing. Well, you're right? saying it's not. Well, I'm saying that if he calls himself a wizard, and and technically Gandalf goes and studies, so like yeah, all right, it's does he? Yeah, he, he runs around, looks for history. <laughs> Oh yeah, I Dude, it's remember that goosey. part. We should have just it's done like, hey, he, top five magical beings, beings, but yeah. then. How do you even quantify I that? I don't fucking know. This is going to be a disaster list, which is fitting because which is wizards... Which will be done in 15 minutes. Let's go. Wizards are bullshit magic -y too, so yeah. our list is going to be bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? That's, that's the first Ooh, time that's happened. Magic. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll start. I'll kick it off. Speaking of d and I have Karsus okay. from D&D. You should probably... Maybe you're familiar mm -hmm, with him. Mm -hmm, Gale talks mm -hmm. about him in yeah. Baldur's Gate a little bit. Are you that far yet? No. I know who you, I know who you're talking. You about. You know who you're talking about, yep. which is that builds well for me. Sure. Okay, so Carsis is the only human in history to cast a twelfth level spell. Now in D and D, at least fifth edition, you're probably familiar. It only goes up to nine levels, so that should indicate to you how fucking OP this guy was. That he gets all the way up to a twelfth level spell. Now you might ask, what does a twelfth level spell do? Well, it kills the god, the goddess of magic, of course. Like, so he pretty much turns oh, into a god. Spoilers. This happened years ago, thousands of years ago. You don't okay. know by now. <laughs> <laughs> um, he essentially turns into a god, and then Mistra, who's the goddess of magic, I think, sacrifices herself to stop him. And essentially, it destroys the weave or something, like damages it. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So this I'm is Karsus's yeah, folly, yeah, okay. right? Uh, yeah. Um. So that's insane that he was able to get that strong. Um, also, the uh, kind of empire they had or whatever is just like these insanely strong wizards to the point where their cities were like in the sky, just mm -hmm. floating around. Because why not? Sure. Uh, and he was like the leader of them. So he was the strongest. So he's probably top five. That seems pretty broken. It's it's an argument. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, dude, who who else right. has I mean, turned into a god and yeah. then it blew up? Well, yeah, we can get there. Okay. 
Yeah. I can't say any more. I mean, there's actually they go into it in Baldur's Gate, but I don't want to spoil it for you. Yeah, don't spoil it for me because I that's a that's a slow burn that I. I that's it's a great <laughs> game. Yeah. It's a great all game. Right. Uh, all right. So how do you spell that? K a r s u s. Maybe. Carsus. <laughs> Carsus. Sure. Uh, all right. What about Merlin? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what he does, but I just respect him. I mean, there's a ton of, in, of course. In I don't know any of, of him, but I mean, the fact that it's just like, I mean, obviously advised King Arthur yep. if you want to go that route of sure. just like okay, like help the realm, did all this stuff. If you're looking at the cartoon, you can change into different <laughs> animals and stuff, which is pretty cool. <laughs> he uh, brings up. I'm the just cartoon. saying, it goes yeah. like all of all over. You have yeah. the you have the live action like TV show where you get to like watch him kind of like grow up and talk to dragons and do all kinds of stuff yeah. and, and whatnot. You have. Uh, Harry Potter, where he's just like the OG best wizard. Slytherin, ever. by the way. Yeah, sure. Slytherin, sure, sure. He's in Slytherin House. Yeah, okay. Best house. It's up there. Uh, it's in the top five. Uh, and he's then, in the top five, so it's gonna be in the top <laughs> five. That's it is isn't top five. Four. <laughs> top four. But, but uh, yeah. So I mean, like Merlin is just yeah, he's good. When you when you like, hey, name a wizard. Well, he's Harry, like top Harry, three at this point. Harry Potter's probably on. Yeah, first but thing, like but he's up. He's before in, Harry Potter. Merlin would have been it. Gandalf, maybe. Speaking of Gandalf, Gandalf, Gandalf's great. He's not. He's great. He's not. Like I will concede this to you because I have to. Just out of principle, I'm not saying he has to be on he the list. He doesn't cast any fucking spells he doesn't need to that's how good he is yeah uh uh-huh yep he he casts plenty of spells you just don't know that he bangs his staff on the ground against the balrog yep Yep. he's a fire wizard he throws some sparklers when he's in in the uh yeah hobbit fireworks likes fire um what else does he cast he blinded something he over talks, the ridge. He talks to a, butter, I he think talks that was to a butterfly. He talks to a butterfly. He blinded the people, although I think that was the sun. You there can't a, prove th- it. There was an assist you on were, the sun no, there. You were, you I were think blind. he might have just timed the sun going imagine, over the ridge. Imagine if he could make the sun. Like, that was a spell as he made the sun crest Rise a little faster. A little faster. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, but he's, like, in all these big battles. He's fighting with a fucking sword. Yeah. That doesn't seem very wizardly he, of me. Of, of he him. just he knows how powerful he is, and he has to hold back a little bit. That's all. You're never allowed to say anything about Superman again. That's fine. Okay, because that's that's why Superman's <laughs> the best. That's exactly why Superman's the best. By the way, Superman's most powerful. Anyway, anyway, uh, no, he's the best. He's awesome. I'm not saying Merlin or uh, Gandalf has to be on the list. It's just like he's a good he contender. Can, yeah, Gandalf the white or gray, it does not matter. So that gets a little interesting, where it's like. For me, I would do gray because yeah. that is the more. I understand he's God and everything, and yeah. Got, but like, I agree. The white, then it's like, hey, you're you're okay. resurrected. Yeah. Oh, like you, you just okay. You plot armor. You're not dying, type of thing, which is kind of wizard like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> but I would do just Gandalf the gray. Like that. I, I, when I think of Gandalf, he's in his gray cloak. Very yeah. rarely do I think yeah, about with his hat. And, and, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. As much as three with was his awesome. Yeah, wow, three is the best. Um, but yeah, I mean that's magic. He's making ships go through circles and stuff with, with smoke. Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. What level his, spell you think that is? Uh, cantrip, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But whatever. Sure. It takes skill. Okay. Anyway, my guy fucking may turn into a god. Qui Gon Jinn. Yeah. Darth Sidious, though. So here's the thing. All right. We're talking because I'm, I'm assuming okay. one, there's gonna be one from Star Wars. Yeah, probably. But we're not gonna have multiple probably, from Star probably, Wars. Probably. So yeah. Qui Gon's good. So Darth Sidious OP. Darth Sidious is OP, yeah, and it depends on what properties you're talking about. Because if you go into the books, I like it gets worse. It gets worse. Yeah, he he is just infinite clones and can just there you go. spirit hop and do that different things. Sounds disgusting. But Qui Gon was the first. That doesn't matter to be that like, hey, matter. you know all those Force ghosts. You know Obi Wan. You know Anakin. You know uh, Yoda. All that stuff. Qui Gon was the one that was like, oh, I I figured it out. That's good. It's real good. That's good. Yeah. Not as good as infinite clones and never now, dying. If you're talking pure power, yeah, then but it's hard not, not to pure give it to power. Sidious. He has the pure power, yeah, but he outplays everyone with politics. 
Yeah, he that's fair. isn't bad with a blade either. Goes toe to toe with Yoda. Yeah, Windu. Yeah, I mean, although Windu should have won, he did win. He did win. I'm still sad about. I'm still a little yeah, sad I mean, about look, that, I, but it's, I think Darth Sidious is pretty nutty. Yeah, like you talk best wizard. Qui Gon had great force ability, but like Darth Sidious just takes it to an entirely different level, in my opinion. For, from pure power and cunning and everything else, absolutely yeah. sure. Yeah, I'll give, I'll give it to you. Well, what else are we measuring? Well, I I, I don't know. Like it, it's one of those like. Qui Gon did all that before Sidious, right? So it's like sure. it w- it was just one of those like this was uh, oh, standing on the shoulder of, of giants, I guess. Sort yeah, of deal. but it's like, just like in the histories of Star Wars, they will talk about Sidious more than they will talk about Qui Gon. Yeah, yeah. Like sure. Sidious, just he he like took everything. Like he's created an empire. Yeah, yeah like sure. That, I, that dude I, can't, is, I can't argue that. I'm just talking nutty. like if you're talking just pure. Wizardry, but quiet, I think he has nice. the wizardry. Like he does. He, he does has the lightning. He has the. I you know better than me. He's, he's got on a, yeah. He's on the list. Power. Sure. Yeah. 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 He's good. He's I sweet. hate. I hate him. But it's I hard do too. To, he's gross. Yeah. His skin's clammy. <laughs> but he's good. He's very good. Yeah. You think with all that power, he can make himself look a little better? You would think. Maybe yeah. he doesn't want to. Yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, by that. Technically, Dooku is pretty cool too. But I love Dooku, yeah. Yeah. especially Book Dooku. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. You get Book into the Dooku's trade routes, good. and you're like, he's got a point. He's okay, got a can't, point. We can't do this right now. I know. Right. I'm just saying he has your, a point. Your turn. What do you? Oh, is it my turn? Yeah. Uh, I have two from DC. Okay. So I have Zatanna, which I yeah love. Zatanna. She's probably not going to win, but just a shout out. She's, She's pretty cool. The best. Yeah. Uh, and I and. That's my vote for DC. If Doctor Strange or Doctor Fate doesn't count, Freudian slip. Doctor Fate, you know Doctor Fate. Mm-hmm. I don't know if he's a wizard. He got chosen by the Mask uh, of Naboo, and like, I, I don't know if he was magical before that or if he had to study. The dude's fucking busted. Yeah. Um, crazy busted. So yeah, if he does count, he, you have to consider him. He's magical, but is he's he definitely magical. It'd and be the same d- thing like the Great Wizard Council or whatever that gave Shazam and, yeah, and Black yeah. Adam their powers yeah. and stuff. It's it gets I don't know if he was a wizard before I, I should have done more research with him. I love Doctor Fate. I don't know what to man, it's him. our list. We can we can just change it to magical <laughs> uh let me just read this. Chosen bearer of Naboo, Lord of Order, often considered most powerful magical hero in DC, blah blah blah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I it's I don't know if you count them. I don't know how you're, <laughs> you're Dr. Fate, no, Lord. Put them on, whatever. Is on. Dr. Fate a wizard? <laughs> <laughs> no, idiot. <laughs> no, fucking idiot. Um, it says sorcerer. So we're saying no to that? Yeah. A powerful sorcerer and agent of the Lords of Order. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's see this. Yeah, it's a sorcerer. Okay, so my vote's Zatanna. I love Zatanna. She's actually she's a magician, which is a subset of wizard, I'd say. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, and she's pretty good too. I mean, she's able to you know get into some crazy reality bending stuff. And yep. If we're talking comic books, Zatanna. If we're talking like DC animated shows, she's not great. <laughs> well, that that same with like Mitchell Pitlenick, right? Like, what what do you? I don't even know if he's a wizard or whatever, but he like yeah. changes realities and yeah. does all weird. But she is a wizard and she can get into that kind of stuff. Yeah. Which is impressive. It, it is and impressive. I, and my comic book knowledge of her is very limited, but as all comic book characters are, she gets fucking broken at some point. Right. So just to consideration. Other other considerations from the Harry Potter universe. Yeah. I think Dumbledore beats out Voldemort, I, I think it Harry has Potter. to be Voldemort, but here's here's my argument. Okay, so you're saying like he Dumbledore is the only guy he fears, which is true. That, that's fair. The but, Voldemort fears, yeah, yeah. But mm-hmm. Dumbledore couldn't beat him. You know what I'm saying? Like Voldemort is slippery, kind of like a snake. Yeah. Yeah, but Voldemort also couldn't beat. It was Dumbledore. a stalemate. Yeah, and then Dumbledore died first. Spoilers. Yeah, 
I mean, who went? Who went? Who like, won? But it wasn't who won. like, and you can't say it wasn't a one v one because. But what, I guess what I but guess what Baltimore I'm saying was is, using his agents, but so was Dumbledore. So it's like it was a chess match. Yeah, and he lost. But Dumbledore sacrificed himself to win in the end. To win in the end, yeah. Which takes more gumption, <laughs> but not power. It takes more power. I think it takes a very powerful wizard to be like. Look, I mean, I, this Baltimore is, this is literally lived. He split his soul into yeah. like seven pieces. Well, That's just nuts. Because he he hates dying <laughs> That's so much. Nuts. Like, yeah, yeah. But, and but, to be fair, Harry Potter is the one that wins the game. I mean, the dude goes, he stumbles in. Harry Potter's fuck, such no, an overrated no, 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 no. guy. Like, he goes in. He knows he has to sacrifice himself. Yeah. Has the stone of resurrection. It was it was a brilliant play. It was a brilliant play. An amazing play. One of the best plays of all time. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that play. much. Top five play. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> so you think Harry Potter should be on over Voldemort? No, absolutely. Well, then Harry you can't Potter use... would get bodied by Voldemort. Well, then, that's what I mean. But then you can't. Are we talking use... adult Harry Potter? That's what different. Argument. Uh, when he's an or, he becomes busted. Busted. Oh, well, I don't go into the. the un- I read the books. I, I only do canon. I read the books. That that is canon. <laughs> you read your Star Wars books, and I read yeah, my yeah. fan. But what I'm saying is, like, if. <laughs> If Harry Potter beating Voldemort means that Harry Potter is better wizard, then he beat him by dying. That's just outplaying him. <laughs> <laughs> Voldemort beat the shit out. I mean, Voldemort killed him. Well, all right. So who do we put on this list here then? Um, <laughs> that's should. really tough. I mean, Dumbledore is broken. Um, and Dumbledore, dude, he had the Sorcerer's Stone, so he's like living forever too. Dumbledore's not a great guy. Yeah, but he's. Jude Law is pretty good. Oh, he's great, yeah. but he's not like a good person. <laughs> ah, who is? Who, dude? You put Sidious on the list. Like, I don't think this is a yeah. But a sometimes good you're so list. bad, it doesn't matter. Gandalf's not really a good person either. Gandalf's a better person than Dumbledore. Gandalf and Dumbledore are basically the same guy. That's blasphemous. It's the same guy. They're well, using they're using people around them to achieve their own ends with with compassionate threads thrown in there just so you don't hate them as much they might be the same guy. it's the same they thing the same like guy. one has a sword and the other one has they might some be the same guy chocolate Dumbledore would would body <laughs> Gandalf. probably uh, not I mean he's a god but like I haven't seen him do anything yeah as long as Gandalf can't get, can't get close enough for a sword <laughs> sword the face dude Gandalf's gonna take his broadsword and just chop his outer wand <laughs> straight in half Are you kidding me <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's also another thing. If Voldemort, well, Voldemort, yeah. Okay, I'll give it to Voldemort. Voldemort was pretty stupid. He didn't realize he didn't attune himself to the Elder Wand. If he did, it would have been over. Yeah. It would have been over. Because, like, here's the thing, Because he didn't though. kill, he didn't disarm Dumbledore. Snape did. So Snape was the rightful uh-huh. error of but, the Elder but Wand. But you got to think, too, like, what about then, Saruman, then? Because, like, that's the same... Sauron? Yeah, it's like the... It's Sauron's this, good, but I think it was established that, that Gandalf was stronger than him, right? Not when Gandalf's getting whipped around like a ragdoll in his tower. Is that gray? Yeah. Yeah, but white Gandalf is OP. Because Sal- Sauron already ascended, right? He was white uh, already? White robes? Is that what that means? Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's what that means, but... He had white robes on. That's, that's what I... Sure. I think. <laughs> yeah, that's. I don't. I don't think that's. I have to ask. That's a David question. Yeah, David like, can kind of. Da- David could chime in on that. I don't believe you that's, have to put Gandalf on, right? on it before Sauron, though. Gandalf. Is, the so, dude lost to a bunch of hobbits. Well, that's a, the dude went back to the Shire and lost. Right, but well, how do you lose uh, against Gan- hobbits? Gandalf got the pieces moving, as did yeah. Dumbledore. Yeah. No. Okay. I mean, I, I'm fine with Dumbledore. I just think Voldemort needs a shout. He's pretty sure. good. He was pretty good. Yeah. He lived for like ever. Could have almost. You almost got there. Yeah. All right. What else you got? Um, Doctor Strange, Sorcerer Supreme. Dude, he's a wizard though. Like he Dude, literally put, taught I'll himself magic. Put him on the the list. I just wanted to call it out because somebody else will. I understand they call him Sorcerer Supreme, but he's not a sort. He's like actually the opposite. Sure. He had he was he was a doctor. Yeah. He had no inherent magical abilities. He literally had to learn it all. If that's not a wizard, I don't know what it is. Put him on. He's on. Wizard Supreme. He's on. We're going to get that changed. Wizard Supreme. 
Uh, that's all I had. That's all I had. That's all I had. Short list. Yeah. Short list. I uh, was gonna. I was gonna look at like because I saw a couple of lists with like someone from Wheel of Time. I just don't know. I, I was gonna like, them enough. ask Kyle to give me like a synopsis of why this yeah. person's great, <laughs> and I didn't have time. Yeah. Why is Perrin great? Um. All right, so we have Carsis, Merlin, Gandalf, Sidious, Zatanna, Dumbledore, <clears throat> Doctor Strange. Okay. The Merlin's on, right? I think you. I, I mean, we can. Do you think Merlin beats out Dumbledore? Oh well, we have to cut some people, right? Yeah. Um. Oh fuck! That, why did you start with one of the hardest ones? We. I actually think it's one of the easiest ones. You think yes? Uh, well, I, I think Zatanna's pretty pretty easy yeah. uh, to to Nick's. I know. I don't want it to be like a, just a Makes sausage fest, but it is. Yeah, I'm trying to bring some representation to I the squad it. here. Yeah. You give give me zero. Sorry. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's that. I love Zatanna. Though. She's I think so Zatanna, great. and but my my thing would be it would either be Merlin or Carsis. You know more about to Carsis. Cut? Yeah. Oh wow. Because well, think about it. Like, mm. Gan- unless unless you had that hard conversation of Gandalf versus like Dumbledore, but Doctor Strange is just completely OP. Yeah. As soon as you bring him into the conversation, he's like, "That's a lock." Yeah. Um. I don't. I don't think so. I think Sidious is a lock. Yes. Again, like you're just you, Sidious is you a lock. Can't die. You're jumping around. You manipulate everyone. Doctor Strange, you're literally going back in time and saving the entire universe. Um. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly, he could have just made that all up. He could have and just locked out hardcore. Yeah. yeah. Um, what if his luck stats just like just a million? That 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 rat just happened to <laughs> hit the right thing at the right time. <laughs> it's just like, oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank God. He's getting worse.